You're about to listen to Tadpog. Tyler and Dave play old games. It's a comedy video game podcast. We would like to stress that the hosts are not experts and are really just very crass commentators. Seriously, this is an explicit podcast that happens to talk about video games sometimes. So please enjoy this pretty okay podcast with Tyler and Dave. Hello, Internet, and welcome to, well, another Tadpog podcast. We're back. We're back. In pod form. <laughs> pod. Form. Mm-hmm. Just a show where three old guys talk about old games. Comedy show. It's a comedy show. Just want to point that out for just, no reason. Just got jokes. Like, we just tell just the, jokes. You, you don't know, have to take anything we say seriously on this comedy show. comedy-ass comedy show mm-hmm. with lots of jokes. With games and jokes, you know. Games and jokes. So take the games, you take the jokes, and have, have a, a good, good time. time. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think pretty much all three of us have had like shitty busy weeks. Yeah, you probably having the best weeky. And <laughs> I, well, I haven't had a bad week, but I mean, I've been stupid busy at work, and it's been. I feel like. Haven't been getting a lot of cooperation from some of my people, so it's just been harder to get through the week uh, and get done, and it's not done yet, mm-hmm. you know? Um, and, and the thing that saddens me the most is I got my games for my Retroid Pocket 2 Plus. That's good news. Big Dick Pie Baker, Chris Vaughn. That is good news, except for the fact that I haven't had time to sit down and do anything really with it yet. I get that. Um, Boy, th- do I get that. There is a lot... I'm going to talk about this Retroid Pocket 2 Plus please, for a little bit. Please. Because a lot of people on the Discord were saying, oh, give us the, give us the scoop. Yeah, and I want to know, too. I mean, I, yeah, yeah. I fucking love this device. Awesome. It is the coolest. Did you get the cover back on? I did. Oh, thank God. But I, I pulled it out again <laughs> and ha- for, to put the card in okay. and had to take tweezers and, and get it back in. in there. So that's one bad. The, the SD card port cover is just this little piece of rubber stuck in a hole and it doesn't. It has. It's like a flap. And when you pull Man, it out, I love it when you talk sexy yeah. like this. It. Rubber and a hole Rubber and a flap. Flaps jokes. And jokes. All jokes. Think about it. Don't take any of this seriously. Um, it's just that one bad design bit. Everything else is solid. It's got great battery life. That's awesome. What's um, the, but what is the battery life like? I mean, like I can't really tell you the hard numbers, but like I sat on my couch the other night for like three straight hours going through my ROMs and making sure that these I don't want and these need to have cover art and all this stuff and only stopping a couple of times and I still didn't get it down below 60%. Uh, I let it sit for two days and then got back to it today and it was still at 51 percent battery yeah Uh, yeah, that's good so that's that's a really good thing and not to interrupt but hey i just want to throw a free business idea out for anybody this is not a joke because that fucking sd card cover is so bad if you own a 3d printer and as popular as I've heard that these things are, mm-hmm. 3D print a fucking cover for that SD card. With a little hinge or something or something that snaps. That's a good Let's idea. fucking sell that shit on Etsy yeah. or something. I mean, because like, if it's a pain in the ass for I mean, and us, it's, still, it's definitely a pain in the ass for other it people. It still isn't flush. It's still got this little bump, bump in it. Yeah. And if you press too hard on it to flatten it out, it ejects the SD card <laughs> and you have to start yeah. all over. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. So, bad design. Mine is the... Uh, 16-bit uh, version, the, the design, it looks like a Super Nintendo. Yeah, it's uh, awesome. With the colored buttons and everything. Uh, it's got a three-inch, nice little uh, LCD screen. It's really bright, really easy to see. Uh, it runs Android. Um, the button presses are really solid. Good. We were worried that the paint right. on the buttons was going to be an issue. It wasn't. Good. It hasn't been. Um, just an all-around really cool thing. And there's this really great video, and I wish I could think of the name of it, of the guys that did the video that tell you how to set it up. And it's a two-parter. And it, first part, in the first part does it, does of... Does it end on a cliffhanger? Yes. Yeah. No, not really. I mean, he gets you through the basics, like all the way up to setting up Super Nintendo. I gotcha. And then the, and then the other systems gotcha. come in the second part. But he goes, and it is a... 
grueling process. I mean, first of all, it's an Android-based device, so it's like setting up any other phone. You turn it on, you select your language, you join the Wi-Fi, you do all this, and then you go in and you configure like RetroArch, which is what I use to play the most of the games. Some of the systems have their own standalone their own emulator. emulator that work better, but RetroArch is what we want to use for all the way up to Super NES. And there's all these different configurations in RetroArch that you can that you set up for the controllers and the save states and the. Does this have? Sorry to interrupt again. <laughs> no, you're fine. But since you mentioned, I, I know some people say RetroArch. I'm just gonna say RetroArch because that's what I say. I don't know what the right way. The it's guys in Arch. the video is it Arch? He says the way you're supposed to say it is Arch, but he keeps calling it RetroArch. <laughs> and is what, there an H on the end? Yes, there, there is an is. H on the end. So then it is RetroArch. I would say Arch. All right. It's, so it's I'm gonna Arch. I'm gonna start but trying to correct Arch myself. Sounds cooler it does sound it does cooler, sound though. cooler because it's like an arc where you put yeah. instead of all your animals you put all your games in it good point yeah. what's our arch what's i mean i know what an arch is but what do you do just fucking go up in it and look at st louis and you're like this and, is cool and feel the wind <laughs> kind of blow you around a little bit and get a little scared yeah, be like let's go right. down look and i'm not talking yeah, about let's get arch. a saltwater taffy and go home tell like, yourself <laughs> yeah. tell yourself this thing's been standing here for this long <laughs> yeah. it's not going to right. fall today look i love the arch i, do I love the arch but i mean arc is clearly it is a better you know the but I didn't interrupt you to say that. But I, what I was going to say, what I was going to ask is, since it has retro arch on it, does it have, does this thing have Wi-Fi? Yes. Man, then we, you might be able to do uh, NetPlay because... Possibly. I mean, you can do retro Steam Link arch on it. and NetPlay. Oh, you can do it, Steam Link on that thing? You can do Game Pass on it. Yeah, because it's Android. Because it's Android. Right. And anything you can download on the Google Play Store, you can put on this thing. And Shit, it's, man. That's uh, great. A Android games. So uh, everything can be done Bluetooth, on Bluetooth. You can Bluetooth it's another got Bluetooth controller so you can on it. Use a, I've it's tested great. it with my Pro controller from my from the Nintendo Switch, yeah. and it works fine. That's awesome. Um, I haven't played much. Again, sure. I spent a lot of the time working, so working, <laughs> providing, and, and then setting it up because, yeah. like, I'm really OCD about the ROMs and about making sure they all have cover art. And so I like go in, and if the cover art isn't on it, I'll go and do a Google image search mm -hmm. and find it and save it. And it's really easy to do that. Mm -hmm. It all happens pretty much automatically. Mm -hmm. If you have a game that's like, let's say it's Plock, and it just it'll just show a P, uh, you just long press on it, change box cover, Google images, it'll search for it, and then you save the image, and then it automatically applies it to that ROM. Cool. So it doesn't. It's a few steps, but not so many that it becomes a nuisance. It's sure. just time consuming. What sure. about the dazzling art of, I don't know, Sterling Sharp end to end? Yeah. That was there. That's fun. It was there. It was wow. on there. So, okay. Yeah. Did you play Sterling Sharp end to end on I did this? play it on this and we're going to get to the game part. Right. Uh, but yeah, it ran fine. I it was terrible at playing <laughs> the game. Oh, sure. But it are ran great. Are you sure it was bad at playing the game or was the game terrible bad at playing it? Playing <laughs> Yeah. Let's save it. We'll get to we'll that. Save we'll it. get to we'll that. We'll save it. We're, but, but I'm glad that you mentioned that we are talking about Sterling Sharp <laughs> in the end of this episode. Uh, like 11 minutes in. So. Yeah. Well, one of, the good. Th one of the things I really <laughs> thought was neat, and I've never had an emulator like this before, so this is my first sort of foray into the world of it, and I think I've really made the right choice. And again, Good. this was on Chris's recommendation, but you know, it was really cool to like Close go to in. Bernie Sanders of emulation material. Yeah. Perfect, love it. A little love for it. everybody. You made the right choice. <laughs> everybody, everybody loves it. Good deal. Uh, you know, going through and setting up Game Boy and Game Boy Advance and Game Boy Color and all this stuff. Yeah. And I, I got, because like when virtual you, boy. you can set it up to where it looks, there's not a Virtual Boy on this. I bet you could. I probably bet, could. I bet you could make that happen. Probably. Uh, there's a... Uh, I wouldn't try too hard, but you probably could. I, I would try too hard. <laughs> but there's a... Sorry, man, I keep doing this. But like with the whole like VR conversation oh, yeah, on Discord, yeah. I don't know if you saw it or not, but apparently yeah, you can emulate on the Oculus Quest 2. A Virtual Boy? You can emulate oh, the Virtual wow. Boy on it. <laughs> you totally got to do that. All right. I just want a Virtual Boy instead. <laughs> yeah. But they like got real <laughs> expensive, too. just like yeah. everything else yep, yep. Retro did. Well, it gave me this really weird sense of nostalgia that I haven't felt in a long time because yeah, I set up the Game time. Boy a long time. Uh, and you set it up to make the screen look like an old Game Boy. And there's even an LCD ghosting switch that makes it look nice. exactly like a Game Boy. And I just thought, 
you know, you hear that little noise and it pops up and it was just really Ding. exciting. Mm. Yeah. That this is fucking this thing is finally fucking working. The only stumbling block I ran into was the postal service. Well, besides the postal service taking like literally eight or two. I know 10 one days. album and they're done. <laughs> no, I, um, I'm done for six more episodes for music reference. <laughs> so, um you know, Chris was kind enough to... The girl from so, The Wizard is in the Postal Service. You guys know that? N- no. I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. No, I didn't know that. Yeah. There you go. That's two. I'm done for like a year. <laughs> I'll see you guys in 2023. <laughs> You've met your quota. Well, he was nice enough to supply me with the content, right, for the for the device on my little SD card that finally arrived. And the the format of the Super Nintendo ROMs was in an SFC format. Right. Yeah. RetroArch will not read SFC really? formatted ROMs, and I was like, "That seems fuck weird." Yeah. What am I gonna do? And I just I did get my PC back up and running, Good. so I just popped that boy in my PC and did a batch rename, rename and named them all SMC, and they all worked. So that was cool. That is cool that it could just do that. Um, you and, say it's and, SMC and it three, and my brain just goes <laughs> Super Mario Kario three. <laughs> yeah, of course, I had a good Cario reference in 200 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> but all in all, I've really enjoyed the thing. If you're into it, or even if you're getting ready to think about it or something, this is the one to get. It's a. It was 99 bucks. Took a little while to get here. The unit itself took about a month to arrive from China, which really wasn't bad, all things considered. Yeah, that's not bad. Um, good build quality. Um, ninety nine bucks. That's that's it's a pretty damn good, good for that. price for this thing. Yeah, that's you couldn't awesome. buy a phone this nice for ninety nine dollars. No, you know. So I I highly recommend it, and uh, would be more than happy to pay it forward uh, and and give anyone the links and stuff that Chris sent me to get me started, which was immensely helpful because I think if I had just taken this thing out of the box. Mm. And had nothing to go on, I probably would have put it down. Yeah, but once it's once you go through the process of getting it configured and up and running, it's a it's a real gem. It's a unbelievable value. It does look good. Yeah, and poor Chris still hasn't gotten his, and we ordered ours on the same day. <laughs> he, did, he got the SNES version he as got, well. No, he, he got, got a the different one, NES right? right okay. Version. So I guess they may have been in higher demand and. They didn't have any ready to go. Or they were on different boats. They're on his is on a <laughs> boat off the coast of California. Well, or the SNES boat's sixteen bits boat, so it's going to be twice as fast and has mode seven. Yeah, <laughs> we got an ocean spinner on it all the way here. Yeah, it has no problems with that. <laughs> <laughs> no one on the boat likes it, but <laughs> hey, it came in. But don't get the pocket two. It's pocket two plus. There's apparently a huge difference between really? the two. Like, people, I'm glad you said that. People say they weren't as happy with the Pocket 2, and they were kind of disappointed with it for a few quality of life things or whatever. But what was really cool is the company that makes these things listens to that feedback. They are all over you know, the, the subreddits and everything, that de- and oh, they pay okay. attention to when people say, my buttons were sticking, or this part, this thing was bad, or this didn't work right, or yeah. I hated this. They take that feedback into account, and they made, apparently, because I'll go back and read a guy's review of the two, and then he'll turn around and say the two plus is like leaps and bounds ahead of that. Yeah. For just a few minor upgrades, it made all the difference. Nice. So, yeah, they, it's a good company, apparently, that really cares about their product maybe they're listening it shows maybe they are i hope so this I hope episode. it's a i'm giving a high recommendation for this product for the record we're not you're i'm assuming you're not getting paid for i am this. not okay getting paid for this good i trust you <laughs> i feel like i can be trusted i feel like i've known you for a long, a long time, time. <laughs> long time a long time mother and earth on the switch now you know, I saw that. I didn't I mean, catch all the direct stuff, but I didn't watch it. That's all I know from it. Yeah. <laughs> so well, I I went through the list. Okay. What what happened? There. I know there's like a Chrono Cross remaster. Chrono Cross. I don't know everything off the top of my head, but I know like Mario Kart Eight. 
Yeah, it's I saw getting, getting like a bunch of new courses. forty new tracks, some yeah. of which are from the old games. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna buy that. I'm gonna buy it. It's gonna be like twenty five bucks, I think. Well, actually, I'm really gonna buy it. But for the record, I'm not buying it, and I'm saying that because I'm not gonna race anybody. This is gonna be a fucking single player fucking experience. Me too. <laughs> I ain't Me doing too. this online shit where you motherfuckers have been playing this game since it fucking came out. Yeah, nope. I'm a casual. I'm a filthy casual. Yeah. <laughs> filthy <laughs> right. Mario Kart 8 yeah. casual. Yeah. If I get it, I'll race anybody except Ben Carew. <laughs> <laughs> um, I won't buy. <laughs> of course, there wasn't. How much any... is it? I'm, I'm like, I'm gonna buy it. I think it's like twenty five bucks. Right? Four hundred dollars. <laughs> oh, yes, four hundred dollars. <laughs> he said you'd buy it. Yeah, here's a sacrificial dagger. <laughs> you get to choose how much these courses are worth. <laughs> Joe, I'm gonna go through the. Hang on. I am gonna go. You gonna pull it up? List. I do because I read uh, it earlier, but good. now my memory fails me. Because I meant to. I, I couldn't watch the thing. It was the direct. I think was going I hate on while I was working. The direct. I would really. Rather, I don't like watching them. I'd rather just hear what it. God, I love. I love watching them when other people are watching it and we can talk about it. Um, but I think the direct normally happens when I'm at work, and um, that ain't gonna. I, that ain't gonna fly. Yeah, that's like me and the. It does that for me too. With the, the Apple, the stuff. new Apple yeah, stuff. They always I, do. I, yeah. I always miss the. Uh, keynote because i'm at work so i normally catch up you know on like a website or something or like just watch discord and be like oh okay that's chrono cross remaster all right here we go of course it's it was mentioned right off the bat this is from polygon uh, i was mentioned right off the bat that metroid prime 4 and zelda breath of the wild 2 were not mentioned which nintendo is going to do individual directs for those yeah. i know sure, they yeah. are they're not going to lump it in with... Yeah, unless it's like at the very stuff. fucking end. They're That's not going to roll in like Job telling all Michael's ideas at his new job. <laughs> Metro Prime 4, we got Earthbound, we got Mother 3's coming, and then... Mother yes. <laughs> uh, there's a Xenoblade Chronicles 3 coming in September. Man, I got to catch up on these Xenoblade Chronicles. I haven't played, I haven't a, played, I haven't a, played a Xenoblade, Xenoblade Chronicles Blade. 1, yeah. and I hear they're good games. I have heard that as well. I, I, I have one, I think, for, uh, for 3DS. I haven't, oh, I haven't touched it. That's yet. right. It came out on 3DS. I could yeah. play that. Man, but the thing is, it's going to be super fucking long. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get, I don't, I'm going to have to take a fucking week off from yeah. work to play Xenoblade Chronicles and like, really cram it in. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> oh, shit. I'm going to ask for another week. Yeah. Uh, is this another person calling out for Xeno Gear? <laughs> Xeno- yeah. The, the first one? Yeah. <laughs> Weird. I don't know. <laughs> but that is the best one. Go ahead. Go ahead give it's it to super him. old, right? Don't yeah. take it out of his PTO. We'll just pay him. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> it's sick time. <laughs> this man is clearly ill. He needs, he needs this. <laughs> is he playing it on PS2 to like upgrade the graphics? No. No. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, he's playing on the 3DS because he can uh, already owns it and has it for free, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Splatoon 3 this summer. That's neat. I like Splatoon 2. I, I don't played, think I'll buy Splatoon 2. I didn't 3, play though. much. I played like the demo of Splatoon 1. Yeah. And I, it just wasn't for me. Splatoon 2 had a single player, which I really liked. And then I played oh, I played online okay. and I was like, ah, eh, nope. Nope. Gonna be a filthy <laughs> casual on that one too. Yep. Yep. Because I have this sickness where if I'm not good at a game, I don't want to play it. I don't want to play it. I know. I have that too. <laughs> and that's not a good ad- that's an attitude I try to teach Henry not to have. Mm-hmm. But I feel like a big hypocrite because it's like, oh man. God Cohen is I love the losing all night that. at Splatoon 2. I he love can't. it. Spending four hours not winning a game. I'm like, oh, I love that shit. Cohen <laughs> plays Fortnite. He's five. Yeah. And he plays he's probably Fortnite. great at it. And he is good at <laughs> of it. Of course he is. The other day he's got I said the time. The other day I, he was playing on the couch and he was like he, it was one of the nights he spent the night and he goes, "Oh, they got me, man. Okay." I'm like, "Oh, man, shoot. That's did a- you? Did you?" I said, "Well, how did you, you win do? it, son?" I did. <laughs> you win it, son. I said, "Well, how did you do uh, on your game?" He goes, "Well, I did okay. I came in second place. It was me and one other person." I was like, "Wait a minute, you placed second by yourself in a <laughs> Fortnite match? Try better." It's a joke. That's a joke. I said, "Dude, that's not." <laughs> bad that's really good and he's like it is really good it is good yeah i know but i would have liked to have won but that's okay i'm having fun man like, all right that's wow. a proper wow freaking attitude to have yeah that is a legitimate like that's a it's like that's good 
that he's got that fucking mastered so far. Yeah. We'll see. But We've fine. got a long he's way a, to go. A natural Democrat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. Maybe. Uh, okay. It's like, it's okay. I'm having fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He does. He does. And he'll put it down and go do something else if he's not doing well. It's just. He's handling this gaming thing man, way better than dude, I ever did. So mature, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh man. And Gage and Miles. Oh, you dude. Know, those two inherited their game rage directly <laughs> from me. <laughs> that was given to them, honest. But apparently, it skips the generation and yeah. went to didn't go to Cohen <laughs> yet. We'll see. He'll be fine. He's He'll, gonna make. He's it. gonna be fine. He's I gonna agree. make it. Give him Cat Mario. He's we'll see. A, he's gonna be fine. He's from a good generation. They got this shit under control. I I hope so. Uh, next up, a uh, Wii Sports sequel. I'm inter- I, I heard about really this. Neat. I'm interested, but I don't. I didn't see anything about it, well, so I don't know how it's going to work. It says it's a I loved Wii Sports, man. Follow. I did too. Philly Casuals so unite. I loved Wii Sports, that was dude. The bowling in that was yeah. my favorite dude, game. It fucking on the rocked. Wii. I got to play a video game with like both of my parents mm-hmm. at the same time, Absolutely. and it's like this is amazing. They're playing this and enjoying <laughs> it, and like we're all having a good fucking time. We can all unite under the Wii Sports bowling. Uh, umbrella you, Nintendo Switch Sports, a follow up to the immensely popular Wii Sports series, launches April 29th, and we'll have a beta test later this month. Sports appearing in the anthology include tennis, soccer, badminton, volleyball, and bowling. The latter of which is getting a variant called survival bowling. Survival battle royale you just bowling. Chuck bowling balls at each other. Yeah, it's it's you versus one hundred bowling pins. <laughs> it's like Tekken ball, but with <laughs> right. <laughs> Can I play as a kangaroo? It's vital <laughs> a, to whether or not a I panda bear and a kangaroo. <laughs> How about a robot? Maybe that'll or work. A robot. <laughs> Can I play a log robot? That's the only way I'm gonna play Wii Sports. Of course. Good, good, good. Uh, Mario Strikers. I, love Moku Jin. <laughs> I gotta get to work on my fucking me. <laughs> do you remember that? I like do. in the fucking like when the Wii came out, it's like, all right, here's how you make all these crazy characters. Nothing and- was out for it, and they're what the the Wii shop was <laughs> had two Solomon's games. Key and Bonk. <laughs> I bought both of them. I was so like, I'm gonna buy Chrono Trigger and Final Fantasy VI, and I sat down. It's like. Solomon's key is kind of fun. <laughs> I guess I'll make wees of ev- me's of every single person I know. Yeah. Well, not only that, but they had like cr- like absolutely insane ones where it's like hey, like where you're making eyebrows into like facial hair and yeah. stuff, and it's like all like these anime characters and shit that you can make. Here's the instructions on how to mm-hmm. make Naruto. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, Mario Strikers Battle League. I'm kind of interested in this because I like the Strikers. Strikers series. is a good series. Yeah. Um, no Man's Sky is coming to the okay. Switch, which is I I'm, think a crazy. That's thing. awesome. I'm not going to buy it. No, I, I have it on PC, but I, and I played that in VR, um, which is was okay. I wish it was a little more immersive. It it uses like the teleport moving, mm-hmm. where it's like you choose a location to go to and click, and it oh. teleports you there instead of like walking, walking or yeah. I don't know. Maybe I just need to fuck with it a little bit. Uh, so there's that Fire Emblem Warriors Three Hopes uh, in June. Yeah, I haven't played. I've played a Fire Emblem, and that was Awakening. I think it was called mm. Awakenings. I don't know. I think it was Awakening. I'm Southern, so there's no telling if there's an S on the end of it or not. All these Krogers, Walmart's. All the Walmart, <laughs> Walmart's, <laughs> Walmart's. I hear that one from time to time. I'm um, reminded of when Josh Nance spelled Walmart incorrectly on his application. Gotta put a star. <laughs> gotta put a star between the L and the M. Is what I kept telling him. I kept telling him, you gotta put a star between it. Otherwise, it's not fucking. It's not fucking right. They look at this and they're like this is fucking amateur. <laughs> He's he not put, qualified to work here. He, he doesn't even no know how to spell loyalty. Walmart. He put the two L's. He spelled it with two L's. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Uh, speaking of Fire Emblem, Ryan of Tyler's Brothers fame. Uh, man, he's really recommending those um, Fire Emblem games on the on the the, the original GBA mm. uh, real hard, and I got to get to them. I just don't have I don't have Xenoblade Chronicles time. I don't have Fire Emblem time. <laughs> hey, I'll try it. I've got yeah, this. man. Uh, Advance Wars One and Two Reboot Camp oh, nice. Reboot Camp launches in April. I remember those being huge. Like yeah. Shake was crazy for those. They've uh, those have been like on the docket for a minute there. I 
They did a little more uh, promo for Kirby, the new Kirby game. Yeah, which, which I, I want. I want that. Looks that. Good. Yeah, I've I got think that it on looks my really wish good. list on the Switch. Um, what, did they have a release date slated for that? Uh, let's see. March 25th, not too far. All right. That's uh, good. It says apparently Nintendo highlighted the game with one more trailer showing Kirby's even more voracious appetite. He can now swallow a car <laughs> I know, I and a vending machine. Yeah. I think it was for the Master Paul Corn who coined Carby. Carby, yeah. Yeah. nice. Yeah, it's Carbuncle. Yeah, so yeah. That, but that game does look really good. I'm, I'm excited for that one. Fatty Carbuncle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see, I want to see Donut County, but instead it's just Kirby under everything. Under everything. Yeah, he's the whole. Exactly. Perfect. <laughs> Man, Nikki, I caught Nikki playing Donut County, and I was like, "What are you playing?" She's like, "Donut County." I was like, "Really." That's awesome. Did you buy it? Because I already own it. She's like, yeah, I bought it. It's like, oh, well, it's done. Now we County. own it twice. Now we own it three times. Oh, boy. Because <laughs> <laughs> we also got it for Henry on the phone. <laughs> uh, Portal and Portal 2 are coming out for the Switch. All right. Which those, that's a... I played Portal last week. Yeah? Yeah. That's I showed a, those it to are Melissa. great games. And and like, you might like this. The Switch needs she those. Didn't. That's a she didn't she like didn't it. Like them. No, Portal's she's, great. She's like, it's an interesting idea, but no, I can't. I don't like. I'm, she's like, it's confusing to me mm. to play. Yeah, it's puzzly for sure. Yeah. I mean, so the Mario Kart DLC, it's DLC through 2023. You buy the pass. It's a booster course pass. I guess boo, but on the other hand, it's like, that's a lot of fucking courses. No, you to like Gordon like Jr., not boo. <laughs> I, man, good on you. You good win call. that British listening show. You know I like more. I just love you. I listen. Man, to you. well, uh, you don't have to listen to love somebody. I love you, yeah. and I don't fucking listen at all. I don't know what color shirt you have on. <laughs> Before you throw that shit in my face again, <laughs> motherfucker. Never mind. I don't love you. <laughs> yeah, forget that. You didn't even kill my first bird or nothing. I still don't love you. <laughs> God, I still have to have them on under the guise of it being something else and then, and then bring that yeah, launch up. that yeah. launch that nuke. Yeah. I'm that's, telling that's you. Exciting. So Henry's been playing a lot of Minecraft. He got a bird recently. His first bird, actually. <laughs> that's <laughs> any, perfect. Got any so thoughts, way. girls? <laughs> you, you know what people say, you never forget your first bird. Never forget your first bird. It's like your sixteenth birthday party. <laughs> it's like your first kiss. You never forget your, your first bird. Era. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your first bird. <laughs> Um, 48 new courses are coming. They will launch in, launch in six batches of eight maps each from March 18th until the end of 2023. Is this like a weird like one for each continental U.S. state? Well, the first wave <laughs> will include Wee Coconut Mall, N64 Chaco Mountain, Tour Tokyo Blur, and five others. The rest of the booster course packs and in, pass includes tracks from Super Mario Kart, Mario Kart Super Circuit, Mario Kart 64, Mario Kart Double Dash. Man, they're doing Double Dash. Uh, DS. Super Mario sloppy Kart Mario Wii. Kart. <laughs> Extra <laughs> sloppy. Family, family Mario Kart. <laughs> uh, Mario Kart 7 and Mario Kart Tour. So okay. I'll, that's, that's a good idea. Yeah, no, that's fantastic. I like that they're doing that. I'll, I'll pay the money. Yeah, I get totally am going to, too, but I'm not going to play anybody online, I guarantee you. Nope, not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even ask. You want to play Mario Kart with me? I will play with you. Static yeah. racing, <laughs> static racing group only. That's what I thought. Yeah, you'd say. I, I will play with you, yeah. Ian. Yes, of course, okay. because I know that we're both we're, really awful. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we both suck. And I could like actually have a good time and laugh at the fact that we're awful, yeah. as opposed to like being awful in the sea of people who are fucking. Mm -hmm. Like, if you've ever, I don't know if you have, but if you have gone online to play Mario Kart with strangers online, mm -hmm. they're all. They have the fucking thing optimized. Mm -hmm. I mean, it yep. is just like it's, it's like, like how's this even fun for you? Yeah, it's like a task speed run essentially. Yeah. That you're playing <laughs> and I'm out here playing like fucking tic tac toe with ping pong paddles, and it's like I don't know what the fuck's going on. They're doing like wall glitches and shit, and jumping to the other side of the track. <laughs> They're just real good. Um, as I mentioned, there was no Metroid Prime Four announced, but I'm all right with that. Metroid Dread is getting. Uh, cheaper because up then I'd update. buy it. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it's getting an update. It's getting more expensive. <laughs> that uh, that it'll have a rookie mode for people who thought it was too hard. 
That seems a little shitty to me. And then there's like, a we're one gonna hit. You, we're going to make you pay to make this game easier. But yeah. I guess that's how everybody does well, it. Well, it's not yeah. paid. I think it's just Oh, that's I think not, it's okay. Just All happening. right. Then I'd strike that from the joke record. But, that's good. I don't also, know. I might also do it, like release it really shittily and be like, here's baby mode. 999, baby. Come on. <laughs> yeah. Well, and there's also going to be a one hit kill dread mode. I, yeah, I heard you about get that. Hit once and you're done. So, well, come on, big boy, mask is mode nine nine nine, please. You know what? You know what they should do is they should do, they should just random. They should make a randomizer for their own game, and be like, hey, people like these randomizers. Uh, mm-hmm. Here's an official one that we've made. Here, and it's five dollars. And yep. I guarantee you, like oh, people yeah. are gonna be like, and here's an official oh, yeah. time clock for it. it. Yep, yep, <laughs> yep. Chrono Cross remaster. I need to play. I will play it. it. I will play it then. I want to play it anyway. I, I own I just, a I own a PlayStation Black wrapped copy of it. Yeah, that I'll never open. So I'll play the remaster when that comes out. <laughs> you made it sound like it was discreetly like put in a discreet package, so no one know that you bought no Chrono one know Cross. I bought Chrono Cross. <laughs> oh, I bought Chrono Cross from AdamandEve.com. <laughs> <laughs> the the Switch Sports thing. This the article mentions. The leg strap accessory and the ring fit can be used as a to kick a virtual ball in soccer shootout. Wow! I'm gonna need that ring fit back. Sorry, Tyler. <laughs> I understand. I brought my I brought the ring fit for Tyler. I remembered. I, I bet was you reminded. Could, I bet you could fucking bungee cord that motherfucker to your leg and it'd be just fine. Probably. Yeah. Uh, triangle strategy. Oh. Yeah, dude, Triangle Strategy. That's coming out March, I think. March 4th. And I'm fucking excited about Triangle Strategy. I don't have the time to play it, but it is like new Final Fantasy Tactics. Oh, yeah? PS1 style. Sweet. Yeah, mm. dude. Like, Tyler, I think I played the demo. Yeah. I think there's a new demo out that I need to visit. But man, playing that demo is like, this is, I like this. Tyler would love this. Cool. Uh, Sounds good to me. Remakes of Front Mission and Front Mission 2. I don't, even, I don't. I don't know what. That I don't is. know what a front mission is. I remember playing the demos like on like PlayStation for those. What kind of game was it? Met Combat. I want to say. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Never yeah, mind. I have I, heard of those. Uh, the front mission. I think, yeah. I think the picture looks it's like mech stuff. stuff. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Splatoon Three, Metroid Dread, Kirby, Earthbound, and Earthbound Beginnings, mm. aka Mother, which is Mother, right? Will yeah. be announced uh, or will be added to. The, it's on today, as well a week ago for the people listening. Uh, it just got added. It's up and ready. For the people listening, it was added a week ago, right? Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Um, Tyler. Yes, Dave. M- has Mother ever had an official translation? Is this like a first? Mother does have an official translation. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. When was it? Re- it was held on to for a very, very long time. I see. And I think someone actually got a hold of a ROM mistakenly and released it. Okay. So that- they don't ever did, but there was an official. That's why I was, yeah, okay. So, wow. Interesting. I was about to say this is moment. It is momentous anyway, but it's more even more momentous if it's if it's like this is the first time and this game has had an official English translation. Yeah, but because was it? Because I feel like Earth. I feel like it was called Earthbound Zero and was maybe out on something else too. Oh, is that right? Yeah, okay. I think. Uh, Star Wars: The Force Unleashed for Switch. I'll play that on Game Pass. That was a good eventually. Game. That was a good game. I like. I've heard they're great. Yeah, I just. Uh, Disney Speedstorm Racing onto Switch with Disney and Pixar characters. Man, I feel free like... Free-to-play racer. I feel like the characters from Cars have a real fucking advantage in that game. Yeah, because they're Cars. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, car, the Cars from Cars are bugs. That's not the cars. joke. <laughs> That's the joke. <laughs> just, um, just games and jokes. <laughs> um. Paul Korn might like this. Taiko no Tatsujin Rhythm Festival drums onto Switch. Drums onto Switch with 76 bopping beats. Sounds like a, a rhythm game. Those, rhythm games master. Are, those games are fun. Um, and I think that there's a... I think this... I, it's, I think the, one of those games has been released on the Switch. They're the most fun with like a peripheral. Like it's actually a drum. Oh, okay. And like you hit the sides of them uh, for certain beats and then you hit the tops. So I've got like a... I've got it for PS3. Because like man, we went to one Dragon Con and they had like the arcade set up. And holy shit, that was so much fun. Nikki and I like would play it. There was always a line, but we'd play it and then move to the back of the line and wait to play it again. To play it again, yeah. The arcade experience is really fucking. I mean, it's it's nice. 
Uh, Cuphead, the delicious last course paid DLC uh, for Cuphead. So that looks... Release date on that? Uh, June 30th. Man, too fucking far away. Assassin's Creed, the Ezio collection sneaks on to Switch next week, February 17th. Kingdom Hearts. Assassin's Creed 2 is still a fucking phenomenal game. Gotta love the shit out of Assassin's I know you Creed do. Too. I didn't get through it. I didn't like the others nearly as much that I played, but man, 2 was... Mm. Yeah. yeah, it was great. Man, I love that first one. And then the second one was just, I don't know, man. I just feel like it didn't add enough. Yeah, no, I, I, really, I understand. You know, that. and it was just kind of like, man, I'm tired of fucking climbing the thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, tired of, all right, can I just one more jump off? Fuck. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But I get I get the appeal. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I just kind of, I, I met my quota, I think. No, I get, I, I've never picked up the one up. I'm, I'm done with Assassin's Creed games now. I've but. never played it. There, I mean, I think they're they're fun. I, I mean, I really like the first one too. I think I love it got, the first. One, it got yeah. a little repetitive toward the end. It totally did, absolutely. And but that might be fun. that might be why I got my that might be why I got so burnt out on it. Because I think on I played it on 360, and I think I fucking got all the fucking achievements for that game, which means that I fucking climbed all the fucking I did all the shit. Mm-hmm. And then like when I was starting to play the second one, I was like, oh yeah, this is cool. Like, this is nice. And then probably about a quarter of the way through, I was like, yeah, okay. Like there wasn't like one big moment or anything. Where I was like, "Fuck this shit!" It was just, yeah, I'm, just burnout. I, yeah, I understand. I'm, I got my fill. I've got all the feathers and the hearts and the, the banners and jumping off all the towers and getting in all the hay bales right. and getting all the kills that you have to do with. Okay, right, <laughs> right, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I totally I understand anyone's complaints about it. Kingdom Hearts Integrum masterpiece for cloud. Is releasing tomorrow, the 10th of February. Cloud version of the Kingdom Hearts games from the original through Kingdom Hearts 3 will be available on Nintendo Switch. Huh. What about the Zack version? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can get the entire purchase the entire collection or buy the single game collections. Oh. Yeah. I haven't I haven't played a Kingdom Hearts. That's pretty I. much. That's pretty much it. Although I love the memes where it's like some serious shit is happening in the game, and then in the background you see fucking like Goofy, <laughs> <laughs> Squall, and Renoa are having an argument. And just Donald Duck with no pants on and a wand. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I love that shit so much. I don't know. I have nothing against Kingdom Hearts. It's just it's like a thing that I never got into, and like. At this point, it's like the meme. At this point, I'm afraid to ask. It's like, I don't know what Kingdom Hearts is, and at this point, it's impossible for me to get into. I've got the PS3 you know, re-releases of them, and I just haven't touched them. I've watched them played plenty. They look yeah. they look fun, but I've never... Gage played. He yeah. Liked, he liked them. Yeah. A lot of people like them, and I'm not trying to shit on them. It, just, yeah. it was definitely one of those things when it came out, I was like, this is definitely not for me. And then, like, as it got more popular, I was like, well, I don't know. Maybe I should try one of these out. And then it's like hearing anybody talk about, like, the story of it is just like, fucking never mind. Because it's like, yeah. I can't even keep, I'm not even playing the game and I can't keep this shit straight. Yeah. So <laughs> I still love on uh, on TikTok where there'll be the guys guys who don't cheat, what are you doing? And then what it cuts to, and the last one I showed Melissa was, you know, guys don't cheat, what are you doing? It cuts to... uh a kind of a nice neck beard guy with a keyblade going, you know, wooding a keyblade is a little bit different than a katana because actually what you have to do is <laughs> 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 while you were busy playing Kingdom Hearts, I was studying the blade. <laughs> I was mastering the blade. <laughs> well, thanks, Ian, for yeah, uh, my pleasure. filling me in on Thank that. I, I wasn't sure what had happened. I've been playing um, Minecraft Dungeons. By request of Henry, mm-hmm. that's a fun. That's a fun game. Like RC AJ liked it. Yeah, it's like a Diablo clone, and I don't mean that in a disparaging way. I mean it's just imagine Diablo, but it looks like Minecraft, and it's like that's fantastic because Henry's seven, and I mean maybe I don't want him playing Diablo, you know? Right. Right. So it's kind of one of those where it's like, yeah, this is nice, and he. But like, what's funny about it to me is. He'll keep asking me questions like when we first started playing where it's like, well, no, I get to mine something. And it's like, no, 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 no. This is not Minecraft. This <laughs> yeah. is kill shit in a dungeon. I didn't say shit. <laughs> yeah, jokes. Yeah. Uh, but jokes. Kill, kill shit in a dungeon. and um, Unalive stuff in a dungeon. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Unalive. 
<laughs> D-life. Oh, you're, man. De- you're de-lifing things. And hearing him, like, he was like, so he, get, like, he gets this enchantment where he's like, I deal extra damage to undead. And I'm like, what's undead? You know, like zombies and skeletons and stuff. I'm like, okay, well, what do those things have in common? I, psh, I don't know. I'm like, all right, I'm just testing where your where your lore <laughs> knowledge is currently, and you're at the appropriate level for seven years old. You got a, you got a perfect skull socking into that mine that, that pick. <laughs> Come on, man! I got my barbarian dual wielding ice axes. <laughs> <laughs> fucking John Turley. <laughs> I remember him fucking like destroying my fucking paladin because he had like a fuck. He had at least one chilling axe or whatever that slows you down. So mm-hmm. I mean, it was just like tore my shit up, man. Because I had no range. Because I had put everything into thorns. Mm-hmm. Because I was like, I want to get to this game as quickly as possible. And the way to do that is be a paladin, have lots of thorns, and just run through the game. Because then <laughs> things will attack you and they'll just die. Mm-hmm. So, but that doesn't work against uh, John axe. Turley's barbarian. Was it Josh tried doing that, but he put everything into zeal? So he charge you and hit, but then still stand there swinging for thirty more seconds, <laughs> and the person would just run around and just obliterate him. <laughs> yeah, that's. I guess the point of the story is <laughs> don't play a paladin. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, you guys want to get into? Uh, Sterling Sharp, yeah. Well, to end. not literally not into him because that Guys, would be in a, that would be offensive and inappropriate. That would be not if he's <laughs> not if he's down. Well, <laughs> it depends on the definition of it. get in. I'd get end to end with Sterling Sharp. Get in to end. <laughs> <laughs> I I wouldn't. I mean, he seems like a nice enough dude, but <laughs> I don't know. I saw I he guess, got a raw deal. Yeah, I saw some. Well, I'm sure we'll get into this in the next segment. But like, I saw some clips of him playing. Like that is a dude who would fucking tear me up end to end. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't know, yep. man. That's like a, you sign a waiver of liability before <laughs> <laughs> all that shit. <laughs> before we do this, I need you to sign. <laughs> right? This. Yeah. Uh, if I die while we are into ending, uh, <laughs> then you'll need to pay my family X amount of dollars. <laughs> So you guys want to take a break? Let's yeah, take a let's break. take a break. All right, cool. We back. In pod form. It's a joke I make all the time. <laughs> <laughs> So Tom, we're back to talk about Sterling Sharp. Sterling Sharp. Colon end. To, end to, numeral two. Yep. End. Mm. And on the well, we'll get. Do we have any? There wasn't really much in Wikipedia about this. One. I can tell you guys about this game if you want. Yeah. Did you know all the all the art and intros and menus were made in Mario Paint? You know, I did not know yeah. that. I, know that. Yeah, yeah. I did not know that. You couldn't tell? That ex- I could tell. That explains when I would choose an option, it would go. <laughs> <laughs> I would have right. preferred that. Yeah. No, so I we get in Duck God saying no. Mm. I would have preferred it. Yeah. Which is straight up like, I love that, the fucking <laughs> Duck God. It reminds me of like, <laughs> old, old, like old school Macintosh computers. Yeah. Like I remember being in like middle school. I remember being in fifth grade, man, and we got a fucking Mac in the classroom, and it was just like, holy shit. <laughs> We're going to play a lot of Prince of Persia on this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this is Sterling Sharp End to End is a football simulation video game uh, featuring Sterling Sharp. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was developed by Tose Company, uh, who is still around and has done a lot of work, like a lot of work. Huh. And like, they, like they've done work on at least Moby Games has listed them as like doing work on like a lot of the, like all of the Final Fantasy Pixel remasters, like I mean, well known games. So I think they're just they seem to be just like like a development contracted. They're like team. Samuel L. Jackson. They take all the work. And you got to do it. Game will do it. Sure. And it's good. I mean, it's like when I was going through the list because I was like, what the fuck are these guys done? It's like, oh, a lot of shit. Like a lot of <laughs> like a lot of shit. A lot of good shit. A lot of shit that I've played and enjoyed. And so I guess they're just like, yeah, I guess they're just like contracted development to help with like games yeah. and shit. So. Well, and if I may, I'm I'm kind of surprised, honestly, that we haven't played this yet. Yeah. 
You know why? Why? Ah, by the publisher? Because of the publisher. Yeah. Oh, that's a testimony to how bad it is. Yes. <laughs> oh, come on, guys. Jalico <laughs> had Poppin' Twin B, and Jalico's got some they Right, but some that was stuff. the discount bin that <laughs> Nintendo bought for the Switch, and they're like... Nah, can't nah. afford Nintendo. Can't afford Sterling Sharp. They though. weren't getting that Sterling Sharp. <laughs> nope. Giving up that nope. Sterling Sharp money. No, nope. <laughs> yeah, man, and it's wild because like all they would have to pay for is Sterling Sharp because the teams don't have no teams. names. <laughs> they don't have named players. So literally, they just feel like. Okay, Sterling Sharp, how much do you want for this? But of course, that's too much. Sterling effort. Sharp looking like is. a yes. tactic summon, explaining <laughs> you know all the moves. Yes. I love like on the title screen he does. He comes in like he's a PNG that's just like animated. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't move, just like he's still. They just like yeah, they just <laughs> fucking yeah, man. It's like some shit out of Pit Fighter, you know. Just like <laughs> oh man. Uh, and it was you're right. It was published in North America only. By Jalico uh, in March 1995. And I want to point out that, um, you know, we kind of alluded to this earlier with like Sterling Sharp getting a raw deal and all that. Mm -hmm. um, the last game that he played was in 1994. Yeah, so this game was, came out in 95. He was a Packers wide receiver yeah. from like 1988 to 1994. Yeah. And I like, I wanted to do the research on this game. So I did a deep, uh, deep for me because I'm not a big football fan. Um, and it's like, so I watched like a highlight reel. Uh, this dude was real good. Dude was a fucking machine. <laughs> like, like by the time I got done with that, watching that highlight video, I was like, I, I felt guilty that I did not know who he was. I did too. And I like football. And I've, I've said many times that I don't know the names of the players very well, mm -hmm. but I, I do enjoy football. Um, I don't like football video games very sure. much, but I, Watching that highlight reel of his just – he caught passes that should not have yeah. been possible for a human being to catch. Dude, it was it was It was insane. And there was one – there was like – and I know, like, there's no – we don't have anything that we're watching right now. So, right. But there was one in that highlight reel that literally made me laugh because – he is like so it's like all these like amazing like athletic feats that I'm watching him do and then it cuts the one where he is literally just standing still in the end zone like Patton Oswald in that episode of King of Queens <laughs> and the quarterback <laughs> literally just whoop just tosses it to him and he catches it. I mean it's like <laughs> 6 years old like 6 year olds playing football and like dudes are just all they're not even coming by him and it's like what are you it's a fucking Sterling Sharp. Someone get on this he's a, dude. He's I'm a paladin with his aura of menace. <laughs> Everyone failed their will save, so they can't get within 10 feet of him. I'm like, it's fucking wild because I'm, I'm watching videos of him like two. It takes two dudes to take him down because he's so fucking strong. And then there's a video of him just no one's covering him. <laughs> so don't don't worry, don't worry about and it. It's, it's literally like a like it's not even a pass where you like cock your you arm just, back. You just it's literally it. like an underhand. Like here you go, bro. I mean, it's like a five <laughs> like, five like they do when go. they hand the ball to the ref. They just yeah, toss right. it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, I, I mean, I was watching this dude in double coverage. He had guys. Just, oh man, it's insane. Just it was on insane. Top of him, and the quarterback's a good 50, 60 yards away, and just fucking chucks the ball up into the air and this dude catches it while he's got guys mm -hmm. literally on up his ass just like they said and, he, he and how did he do it's that super it's super amazing impressive. the guy was unbelievable and they good. like credit him with like essentially carrying green bay until brett Favre brett came Favre on came. and, and then them brett together Favre would have been the next joe montana and jerry rice right yeah had sterling sharp not yeah. had his injury right and yeah and they mentioned jerry rice and how like because I knew who Jerry Rice was, but mm -hmm. I knew who he was because he was the best, you know, like right, as far right. as stats go. But like Sterling Sharp was like right there, like on his heels, and in some in some regards and some stats better. Well, and if he had got to keep playing, Jerry Rice played for a long time. Right, that's another. And thing over that. time, I mean, you you know, you could probably make the argument that Sterling Sharp would have been a maybe a better yep. wide receiver yep. just if he had gotten the ability the chance to play longer cuz he's in the what the Green Bay Hall of Fame and the College Football Hall of Fame but they won't put him in the NFL Hall of Fame which is fucking bullshit it is bullshit so, yeah i was i mean i don't know anything about it like about the NFL Hall of Fame but i mean i was convinced after watching the 20 minute video and i like 
I didn't know that he. I didn't know they had a brother that played Shannon Sharp. Shannon Sharp, yeah. and like he was inducted in the Hall of Fame, and that's why like, and that's like super fucking emotional because like he's right. giving a speech about how like. He's the second best football player in his family. <laughs> second best NFL player in his family. Right. Yeah. yeah. But I'm like you. I felt bad. I know the greats, but he was a he was one of the I, greats. Yeah. I felt guilty. I, I was like, I should have known who this person was. And it, it's the game is not a credit to his legacy, in my opinion. No. And I, it's mm-hmm. I know he needed. This is something that he probably needed. They who approached knows? him and said, you know. We're going to make a game. You want to do the thing? And he's like, well, I'm not playing football. Uh, money would be nice. So, he, sure, yeah. I'll do that. But he might have been. I don't know what the development was. You know, they might have been working on this, like, uh, that's true. in the yeah. season where he had his injury. I mean, this might have just been like a, I mean, regardless, I mean, like, I don't think that would have made the game any better. You no, know what I mean? probably not. But that's not his fault. And And I do think it's impressive that they thought enough of him to make a game with his name on it. Yeah. You know, you get mad in this, mad in that all the, all the time, but these one-off games where you've got this one Brent great Hull player. Hockey yeah, and, you've yeah. got this one There's great player game, who's right? the, the thing, the the we're going to make a we're going to make a game with your you, name on you, the box. Right. That's you're pretty, selling that's you're selling great. this game. Yeah. yeah. Essentially. You're Michael Jordan we, Chaos in the Windy City. You know, right. Yeah, same shit. Charles you're, Barkley showed up in Jam Guided. <laughs> <laughs> you're impressive enough to us to be the spokes, to be the thing that we think should sell this game. Right. And be it good, be it bad, I think that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. I got ahead of myself. That no, was one of my good No, it's things. all good. I'm glad we're doing this because I also want to say, like, dude, Henry and I watched that fucking highlight video, like the 20 minutes. We watched 20 minutes of it. And then uh, I was like, do you want to watch some more of this? And he was like, yep. And then we watched another like 11 minute video. Um, and I mean, it's like truly one of those things where it's like, if that's what is that, if that's all that football was you, like, that, <laughs> yeah. like, like what I really need to do to enjoy football is really not watch a game, just watch highlights because that was like watching him play was like, Holy shit. If yeah, they would it, interweave dramatic high school stories into every NFL <laughs> football game and turn every season into Friday Night Live, I, about to say, this I would watch I'd watch football. I mean, I'd be the biggest fucking Packers <laughs> fan there's fucking out there. Well, and that's the thing about a good football show or a good football movie. You have that to sort of fall mm-hmm. back on, but they it's all interesting football. It, watching a game is, uh, you know, two or three hours of not interesting with I want to know what his girlfriend's doing at her, at her sister's house right now. What's going on? <laughs> right, yeah, exactly. while the boring football stuff is yeah. happening, and then cut to the exciting football. Where they're shit. worried about him getting hurt. Like that's what I, that's what I want to see. <laughs> Come on, there's where's Billy Bob in the back saying how he's you know? There is a recommendation. I don't want, I want your life. <laughs> God, I'm so I don't understand the Varsity Blues. Oh yeah. Oh okay, man. Yeah. <laughs> Come over. Let's watch Varsity Blues. I don't have it on DVD, but I'm sure we could. We could find. We could find it. <laughs> No, no, what I was going to say, though, was I, I have a recommendation <laughs> if you ever want to just give a little bit of a shit about football, and that's not just you, it's anyone who doesn't want to sit through every game but likes to watch the exciting shit, mm-hmm. there's a thing called NFL Red Zone, and it's on, I think you can get it on like DirecTV or something. I, I think. I can't. However, that. I think you can get it other places. If I'm not mistaken, if, I, if it, I know, I don't know. It sounds like an NFL endorsed deodorant. It kind of does. It's got that <laughs> conceptual smell. I smell like the a red concept, zone. red zone. Yeah. I don't know what that smells like. <laughs> Terry Wait. Bradshaw coming out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is this the is this the NF- dude? You smell like the NFL. <laughs> but what that is is you can watch. It just kind of cycles through the ball games. So like. You'll be watching this one thing and maybe on one game and nothing really interesting is happening. They'll say, oh, shit, some stuff's going down in the Pittsburgh game, and they'll switch to that. Ah. And you get to see them go for the touchdown or whatever. Gotcha. Or, oh, my God, there was this massive interception, and this guy ran it back. We're going to switch over to that, and they'll give you sort of the exciting shit in real time. Okay. So that's a good way to get a little football without having to do – the long haul of sitting through a long football game because it can be dull. Are there commercial it. breaks on this? I uh, I don't know. I don't think because it's a paid thing. There's a See, there's that's a good. thirty second YouTube ad in between every switch. <laughs> but yeah. no, that's good because it's like you take all of a sudden you also take 
that formula works really well when there's no commercial breaks. Right. Because it's like you you then can really do the job of being like, this thing is interesting. You don't have to be like locked in where it's like, right. well, shit, there's a commercial in there in this game. You know what I mean? Yes. Like, well, and I can, again, I may be, I don't even know for sure that they still do it. I know they used to do it. When I watched football religiously, we had NFL Sunday ticket, which was you could just watch every game. Right. You could tune into whatever game you want and switch back and forth. And but I, I want did someone that. who knows what the, it's like going on to do it for me. Yeah, That's why I like exactly. this red zone thing exactly. you're talking about. But the, you know, I would always call DirecTV and threaten to leave, and then they'd give me free NFL Sunday ticket. Mm. So that's how we did it. But the red zone was something that is really interesting if you just want to get a little football and the exciting moments but not have to wade through all the commercials and all the other bullshit. But, you know, it is what it is. And I, I also think it's really appropriate that we're doing uh, a football game this week because the, the big Super game. Bowl is this Sunday. Would Superb, have been Owl. The Superb, Superb Owl. Superb <laughs> Owl is this Sunday. Of course, it was this past Sunday for the listeners now. Right. Man, um, what a game that was, dude. Mm-hmm. Holy shit. I know, man. I was on the edge of my seat when the... Uh, Bengals. Beat the... <laughs> Dan <Rams>. Marino's. <laughs> <laughs> well... I, and I I said that because I'll not just because we did a football game on Super Bowl week, but also because uh, the Cincinnati Bengals are going to the Super That's Bowl. That's wild. I bet John uh, Turley John Turley is, is the fucking just roof. beside himself right I bet. now. Uh, this is the first time in thirty years that they've been to the bowl. They've never won. The team is twenty five years old. And I'm hoping <laughs> by the time this comes out, we have had a historic Bengals win. I'm pulling. Um, they're playing the Rams, the Los Angeles Rams. But unfortunately, the Super Bowl happens to be in SoFi Stadium, which is the Rams' home field. Uh, they usually, I feel like that should be like it happens. It the first time it ever happened in history where one of the teams was playing in their home field was last year, Tampa Bay went to the uh, Super Bowl, and the Super Bowl was planned to be in Tampa Bay. It ha- and that was the first time in. 52 years of Super Bowls that that's ever happened. So they just randomly sign it every they year. They randomly and pick then, a stadium. They and gotta, they gotta, you know, that's not, that's really I would, not I fair. I would change that's it That's really yeah. not fair. Well, it's impossible. If I were, if I were Captain Football, I would yeah. change it. Yeah, the Super Bowl is such a massive what, event. What's that's his name? not something they Captain can just Football, change. you nailed it. Who's Captain Football? Everybody hates him. Steve something. Steve Irwin. Steve Irwin. <laughs> Good thing he got killed by that. He's talking Roger about Goodell. Tom, that's Tom it. Brady. <laughs> if, I, if I were Roger Goodell, whoever that guy is, I think he makes all the football captains. He make TV dinners. Yes, he sounds like a TV dinner maker to <laughs> it me. Does. But somehow, again, the second time in history that's happening. Well, the Rams are going to win. The difference who, though is who, the who difference, won on the last one? Tampa Bay. Tampa that, Bay. That was Tom Brady. That was Tom Brady's return. He left the Patriots, went to Tampa Bay, had this a phenomenal season, mm-hmm. and they won the Super Bowl. And then they had not such a phenomenal season this year, and he quit. Rams are going <laughs> to win, man. Come on. It, I mean, it's not home field advantage, though, because you've okay. you got to think about it. Fine. You're playing in the stadium you're used to playing in. Right. It's which, psychological. Which is fine. But at the same it this isn't a home field adv- the The biggest thing about home field advantage is all of the fans, right? I mean, maybe. The Super Bowl, but the Super Bowl Super is, Bowl is, is not, totally different. Is not yeah, yeah. locals all just, just flooding into people. the stadium. It's the minimum ticket price for but the shittiest seats in the Super Bowl is $7,500. But there's got to be... Okay, sure. So you're like the regular fan, but you can't. we can't honestly sit here and be like, they don't have an advantage because clearly they, they have. Clearly, I mean that's I like I don't think so. I just I, I see that they don't have to travel. They that don't, you know what I mean? Advantage. They, can they know where the sure. bathrooms they are. Fucking, <laughs> yeah, they're like I know exactly where in the where in the trough to pee. They're they're used to the <laughs> locker room. They've got all the fucking shit that they're used to around that them. That is true. I mean, I, I mean think it's psychological. I, It'd be like, do I want to fight somebody in my own house or in their house? My house. I'm gonna lose either way, but I'd rather do it in mine because I'm more comfortable. <laughs> I'm more comfortable. I know where the things are that I you can know where pick the exits are in your house. Right. Yeah, I know where to pee in my house. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I do agree that there is a bit of an advantage there, but I don't think it's as much as if they were playing a regular season game at home. I think that's totally fair. The season ticket holders are all flooded into but the stadium. But still and an advantage for them. Th- I, I'm not nullified. saying there's no advantage, and I agree. 
but by the time they know who's going to the Super Bowl, they can't change the venue. It's just it's set in. It, it's not possible. I, I, I mean, I'm sure it's, sure it's possible, possible, but, but Jesus, someone's going to lose money, I guess. Because people buy tickets for the Super Bowl, they know at the beginning of the season. I they see. know so three they... or four years in advance where the next Super Bowls are going to be. Yeah. So people have already bought the damn ticket sure. for two hotel years from now, and and hotel shit. rooms, hotel rooms, and flights, and, and they. They just cannot move the venue. Well, then it's easy. Just be like, "Sorry, Rams, you can play next Super Bowl. We're gonna ch- we're gonna choose <laughs> mm-hmm. the third best team." Yep. <laughs> there you go. We're gonna hold, or, <laughs> or they hold Tampa the Puppy Bay. Bowl there that year. The Puppy and Bowl, play somewhere yeah. Else. <laughs> you got hotel rooms, just Puppy Bowl. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> I don't think they need the whole stadium for Puppy <laughs> Bowl, but no, oh. the, it'll be the biggest Puppy Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I, I wanted to just throw a shout out to John. That we're, I'm rooting for your team. I and Chad Ojosinko. Yeah. Because he was a Bengal, right? I don't know. Yeah, I, I believe so. There's my sports reference for the <laughs> for <laughs> You're good. For, show. You've I'm done good. music I'm and good. sports. I'm done. That's it. Um, who was Real that? Renaissance man. I know, right? Boomer. <laughs> I want to say... It's not Boomer. Okay, Boomer. Damn it. I got to look something up. All right, look it Talk up. Talk amongst yourselves. I'll give you a topic. Uh, well, how about uh, the art? What did you think? What were your expectations from the the box art for this game? Very, I had very low expectations because it's, the yeah the box art is not a good <laughs> photograph of Sterling Sharp. No, it, you uh, can't even see his. You face. can't see his face. It's just like he's wearing. He's like a dementor. It could. Yeah. <laughs> <you know? laughs> his, his face is yeah. just not. It's just present. Yeah. It's not the, not a good photograph. <laughs> really, it's truly not. He's unrecognizable. Yeah, so I was just like, oh, bad football game. Okay. Yeah. Oh, real quick. Boomer Esiason was the quarterback for the Bengals the last time they went to the Super Bowl. That's where I was trying to come Okay. Up with. All right. And I know you've heard the name Boomer Esiason, right? Boomer Assassin? Boomer yeah. Assassin. He's like a really old fucking yeah. assassin, killed <laughs> yeah. all the people. No. I, I, he bo- is a boomer, actually. <laughs> Uh, He's a boomer named Boomer. Not older than a boomer. <laughs> he was boomer before it was cool. Proto boomer. To what, say boomer. <laughs> what was that? What was that boomer assassin movie with like Bruce Willis and Boomer Assassin? Boomer Assassin. Okay. <laughs> boomer Helen Assassin. Helen Mirren on a plane. And, oh, Red. Yeah. Was that? It was, was it Red? red. Was yeah. it Red? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, or just it was bunch okay. of bunch of boomer assassins. Yep. So the Expendables. I thought that at first, but that's Stallone, and they're still making those. Yeah. yeah, they are? Yep. Yep. I haven't seen one of those. I heard they're good. They're okay. It's pretty much the same movie over and over, kind of like Fast and Furious. Yeah, but they switched the cast out, right? Yeah, a little so bit. It's essentially Smash Bros. They've got a few Eventually, of the same. Eventually, Schwarzenegger's gotten in, and yeah. They should do, like, and they, I mean, it is, like, that was a joke, but it really is like Smash Brothers, but for, like, people who like <laughs> for 80s, 80s movies. For 80s action heroes, yeah. Because yeah. it's like, look who's joining the roster, <laughs> yeah. and it's like, holy shit! Yeah. <laughs> These are geared, more to, the Jap- These are geared yep. more to the Japanese audience. Really? Yep. Right. <laughs> Dolph Lundgren is in it. it. He's in a couple That's of them. That's funny. Okay. All right. Dolph Lundgren. Gary Jet Busey. Lee. Yeah. Yeah. I think what? he's in there too somewhere. Nick Nolte? Not Nick Nolte. You can't have no. Gary Busey and Nick, Nick Nolte. Nolte. <laughs> the same fucking room, man. Nick Nolte is in one of them. I'm almost positive. All right. But they've had Bruce wild. Willis. They've had Arnold, of course. Um the the guy that was the this transporter is Smash is, Brothers, they, but for eighties movies, it is. It, is. it, it really, really is. This really is. For some reason, I can't get the image of Nick Nolte dressed as a Jolteon. He's Nick Nolte on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Anyway, box art. That one wasn't a joke. <laughs> <laughs> That's serious. That's a serious fucking statement. <laughs> How about a movie comparison? After playing this movie, playing this movie, playing this game. What's a movie? It, it you could tell the listener like playing this movie, playing this game is like watching this movie. I would say, and I had to go with a football movie. Uh huh. The replacements. Me too. Me too. I picked the replacement starring Keanu Cause that's, Reeves. Yeah, because I've heard that was bad. I've never seen that. I like it. Yeah. I think it's a good movie. It's kind of corny, but the thing is about the repl- the the story about the replacements is the the. And if the players go on strike, the big players mm-hmm. go on strike and they refuse to play. So they bring in an alternate, they put together an alternate team with Fucking a washed scabs. up quarterback. They were scabs uh, to play. And they do really, really well. But then in the midst of everything, while they're starting to find their footing and get good, uh, the players' strike ends and they 
don't let them play uh, in the big game. And they yeah. make their own league? No. No. Oh. But the they, jo- they joined Vince like, McMahon. <laughs> I felt like this game, because it didn't have actual team names, it didn't have any players that you know, named players. It didn't even have a season mode. You cannot play right. a season in this game. Yeah. You can only play one-off games or the playoffs or, the playoffs. or you know whatever. And this just sort of felt like a replacement football game. Like you just sort of pick it up, and it's like you're probably mad in the shop. Your, Here you go. This is the ge- this is the football <laughs> game I your love, grandma buys I love you. To think about the Madden NFL cartridge <laughs> shop, where it's like, <laughs> all right, we do one thing and we do it very well. We fix Madden NFL cartridges. <laughs> what is us. this? A super soccer? Get the fuck out of here! Madden <laughs> NFL cartridges only. And we've got a backlog of like a month, so you're gonna have to find yeah. something else to play. Yeah, I don't <laughs> want your NFL quarterback clubs. We'll give I don't you want the your loner. fucking <laughs> Sterling Sharps. Get out of here. We'll give. Give you the loaner Sterling Sharp while we fix your Madden We're cartridge. doing very well. Thank you for asking. What's your insurance? The general? Yeah, it'll cover this. <laughs> Sterling Sharp end to end. So you get it, you get it, you play it, and then you just think, well, maybe maybe the real thing is probably what I want. So that's my pick for Something the movie. like the real thing. Dave? Uh, I chose a not football movie. Uh, I chose Atlantic Rim. Because this game, are you familiar Pacific with Atlantic Rim? Or Atlantic no, Rim? no, you heard me right. Atlantic <laughs> Rim. Are are you are you familiar with uh, the term mockbusters? <laughs> no. Okay, a mockbuster is. Do you remember when like? Okay, so when there were video stores, I'm going to sit on this stump with an onion on my belt. I'm going to tell all these... (laughs) Quiet. An old person is talking. That's right. There was a time where we would go into a building, and in this building, there were movies. It was essentially like a virtual reality Netflix, but real. Uh, And we would go in there, and we'd pick a movie. And then sometimes we would be like... What? Aliens versus Avatars? <laughs> <laughs> but Avatars out in the theater. I don't understand. That's a mockbuster. A mockbuster mm. is, uh, is a thing. Why don't you buy the dollar store? So essentially, <laughs> I guess, a dollar store movie. Yeah. I've never, I don't know. I've seen the TikTok, but I don't know if they do the mockbusters <laughs> or not. But I remember seeing these things all the time and being like, are they really going to fucking, do they really trick anybody? Like, because they'll, they'll put these movies out direct to video while the movie is in the theater uh-huh, to get that attention right the hype right exactly and who who i've always wondered in movies like that how big of an itch do you need to scratch to take this and settle it settle for it but i never I, I never bit but <laughs> yeah uh you know somebody what? had somebody to. definitely did and if i had a group of friends where it's like, this is the thing that we do. I could totally see that happen. Oh, yeah. Where it's yeah. like, hey, Atlantic Rim is out. You guys want to get together, get fucking drunk and watch this? Like, that's like a perfect, like, college, <laughs> like, night. I that get that. Great. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll wait for Indian Rim. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> they should do all the oceans. <laughs> uh, so Atlantic Rim, uh, because I feel like... Obviously, this game was the mockbuster version of Madden NFL. Mm. It plays a lot like Madden NFL. It's a clone of Madden yeah. NFL. It just um, doesn't the, have any of the take all bells the bells and, and whistles, whistles off it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. All of the bells and whistles, and even some of the staples like the season the mode. season mode, right? Uh, I also could have possibly gone with Snakes on a Train. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Hobgoblins, which looks weirdly like the Gremlins cover. It's odd. <laughs> uh, aliens versus Avatars. Frozen Land. Mm, mm-hmm. Almighty Thor. Oh, boy. <laughs> Transmorphers. Yes, I've heard of Transmorphers. <laughs> uh, or Chopkick Panda. <laughs> it's all in the mind. <laughs> Wonderful. That's really good. I love it. So I chose necessary roughness, mm-hmm. which is oh, a oh man, so Sinbad, bad. Kathy Ireland, and Scott right? Bakula. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yep. <laughs> I love I that. that. I love that fucking movie. I remember being in the video store, <laughs> and I, I remember two things about that visit to the video store. Mom, please let me rent a Turbo Graphics sixteen, please. Jesus Christ, please. She said no, and I was like, okay, necessary roughness, and she was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is it because you have that thing for that person in it? 
Yeah. Oh, man. Scott Bakula. <laughs> yeah, I've got to have so many Scott Bakula calendars in my room. Dude. <laughs> Don't get me started. Got you the. We need to get you the unnecessary roughness, Scott Bakula, Standy. Oh please, put in your house. Oh please. So yeah, yeah he yeah, has the one a, please. a forty year old. They convinced to come back to college. So he's a forty year old college freshman for their their Texas State team. Yeah, that's terrible. Uh, <laughs> so God, terrible. They get dude. Kathy Ireland to be their oh, kicker. Oh fuck, I remember this. <laughs> yeah. Man, I yes. have a, I have a confession to make. This is a lot like the replacements. Kicks, yeah. It is a lot like the replacements. <laughs> every seriously. time she kicks the football it's uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, my confession is that I have um most certainly watched this movie within the last year. <laughs> I'm gonna watch it tomorrow. Yeah, I, I re- it's free on YouTube. Yeah, that's, that is where I saw it. That's where I watched it because I was like, "It's 1 a.m. All right, we're gonna watch this. We're gonna see if it's as good as I remember." It wasn't. It wasn't. It turns out. And I remember also being like, "Man, Kathy Ireland's in this movie a lot. She's not. She's really not. She kicks a football. <laughs> she kicks a couple footballs, and it's like, as an adult watching it, I was like." Oh, okay, I see. I don't. I guess it was just like, hey, let's get Kathy Ireland here for a couple scenes. She's she's in town for a second before she goes <laughs> off to her next shoot. Let's make her kick a football. I mean, her character is super important, but Very important. but her herself, no, I, I didn't feel like she was in the movie enough. Because so, I mean, I was like right from the beginning, I was like, oh, let's get the Kathy Ireland, and then she doesn't come in until about halfway through. Yep. <laughs> Sorry. So but. yeah, so so bad it's funny. So I think this this <laughs> qualifies this game. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. I mean, it is pretty bad. <laughs> well, what can we say that's good about it? Well, before we get to that, I want to know how is this game like Corey Feldman? How's this game like Corey Feldman in that it's like Corey Haim <laughs> in Lucas, which is about is that the is that the is that a mother video game movie? I wish it's a, it's <laughs> a fo- it's a football movie where the nerd gets to play for like a second. It's like it's a it's a it's not a mockbuster a, of Rudy, but a, it's sort of a weird okay. spoof of Rudy. <laughs> I'm not saying is this like a Pixar joint? <laughs> Man, I remember when Rudy came to my middle school. Oh yeah, my he came to my high school. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It was not. It wasn't good. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't. I remember like, everybody had just watched the movie because we had to yeah, right same. before he came, so we Girl might same. have given a shit. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I was kind of excited. That's not Sean Astin. Right. They <laughs> fucked up. They should have got Sean Astin to go yeah. to school. Yeah. When you're in middle school, it's hard to make that dis. You know, it's hard to... You can't make that disconnect. Yeah. You can't just watch Sean Astin and then the real you're Rudy. You're not Rudy. <laughs> <laughs> I'd actually seen Lucas because whenever I was in... Lived in my dollar house where we had satellite where once a year you get a, w- a week of free Cinemax yeah, or whatever. Yeah, sure, yeah. And for that week, that's all they fucking showed in the day was just Lucas on fucking repeat. So I eventually like, fuck it, I'll watch this football movie with this kid. Are was- you convinced to pay for our service yet? <laughs> yeah, exactly. We play one movie and just, just <laughs> guilt you into just <laughs> stop the torture. <laughs> I'll pay you. Just stop. <laughs> It was all right, but it was Corey Hames. That's related to Corey Feldman. <laughs> totally. No, essentially, when, yeah, I think then the question is asked, how is this like a Corey Feldman joint? It's implied that it's also <laughs> Corey Hames on the table. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I chose The Burbs, uh, and not because of the movie itself, but just because if Madden NFL was a thriving metropolis, um, Sterling Sharp end to end would be um, a suburb far away from that city. So the burbs for me. Okay. I haven't thought this out at all, so we're not gonna. I'm not gonna waste our time and. You don't want to sit here. I don't know the. I don't, I don't know. I like. I like. <laughs> I like your answers. <laughs> Apparently, Corey uh, Feldman was in the burbs. He was good. The internet did not steer me wrong. <laughs> I've tried to. He was good in that, actually. Dude, I have. I've heard so many great things about the Burbs from so many movie. people. I've tried to watch that movie twice, and I can't. I can't fucking do it. Mm. I don't know what it is about it. It's so fucking slow, man. Like yeah. it's just like it's so slow to start, at least. Where it's just like both times that I've tried within the span of ten years apart. It's just like I can't. I, I'm too fucking bored. I can't do it. I hear you. 
Carrie Fisher's in it. Tom Hanks. It's a good. And I like those people. I I just can't. How did you feel about? Did you ever see? Nothing but trouble. No. Good movie. Yeah. Yeah. Is that also creepy like movie. Digital Underground creepy has a cameo movie. in yeah. the movie. Yeah, it is weird. I like that uh, when Dan Aykroyd was on last podcast on the left, that's primarily all they asked him about was his vodka and nothing but trouble. Yep. <laughs> oh, yes. I Yes, Danny I have. Moore. He's like the judge. Yes, yeah. the, gross, the gross dude. Yeah. yeah. That's a gross-ass movie. Yeah, I forgot <laughs> the name of that movie. I remember watching it as a child uh, and being like, I like this a lot, but I feel like I'm not supposed to be watching yeah. this. It's like if the Texas Chainsaw Massacre family were the law and the judges in a, in a town, you know, they ran, yeah. which is kind of the way that kind of did it in one of them. But yeah, that movie was weird. I forgot the name of it. Yes, absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. I love that movie. I haven't seen it since I was a child. I also so. thought, though, it was funny that Digital Underground had a... They arrested Digital Underground. The ones that did Humpty Dance. Oh, <laughs> They show up and God, perform. I fucking forgot about that <laughs> yeah, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Drew Carey show style. They, they, arre- they get arrested. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Digital Underground. Well, they get arrested. But when they come in, they perform a song. Mm-hmm. And the judge God, is, you're opening up a memory door, dude. Grooving and then lets them go. <laughs> oh, lets them go. Oh, God. Yeah. Well, I remember watching the first season of Smallville and like prom or homecoming is the final episode. And the person playing their prom is the band who does the intro song to Smallville, like Remy Zero. Oh, okay. So they're all cheering like, yeah, Remy Zero. And they're playing the theme to Smallville in their prom in the last episode God of the last scene. <laughs> I hate that shit. Hate it. <laughs> I, had to look up, I had to look up who did All I Want to Do is... Uh, Zoom, zoom, zoom. <laughs> well, I don't know. I can't remember the name of the song because I have a weird childhood memory. Because I was just like, have some fun of like, that. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's Cheryl Crow, right? Yes, yeah, Cheryl Crow. Uh, man, I like that song. It's I a good song. I remember. I have many fond memories of like I had a radio alarm clock mm-hmm. in middle school. I have many fond memories of like waking up to music that I legitimately yeah, loved yeah. at the time. Got to see Cheryl Crow open for the Rolling Stones. Wow. It was a good set. I she bet. did a good How set. How long ago was that? Oh, it's been a long it's time. It was like when she was when like, she was like big at, on the scene. Yeah, still touring with the Stones. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, and they had... Um, and she played that song. Oh, it was a great set. It was it was real real nice. It was the Bridges to Babylon tour, if anyone knows how long ago that was. I don't remember. They, it's was that 25 was years. That Voodoo probably. Lounge, Rolling Stone uh, it was, era? Voodoo Lounge was after that. Oh, okay. Or maybe, maybe I'm backwards on it. All I remember about... I remember the concert being really, really great. It was an outdoor concert, and they... The Stones did their thing, and I'm sitting here thinking, God, how does Mick Jagger still do this? And this was 25 years <laughs> right. ago or whatever. Sure. And then at one point, this fucking thing comes up out of the ground. This, uh, all, another stage comes up out of the ground, and it gets connected by a bridge, and the band goes across the bridge and picks up their set and so now they're like, whereas we were off to the right of the stage and we could sort of see it was kind of cool. When they crossed that bridge and went to this, they were like right fucking That's in front fucking of us. That's fucking awesome, It was dude. like ah. super cool. Where was this? It was at Vanderbilt. Oh, nice. Yeah, on the football field at Vanderbilt. So yeah, it was a really cool experience. But you said every time someone says Cheryl Crow, I think, hey, I got to see Cheryl Crow. Yeah. In person. Mm. It's pretty awesome. So what what's good about what's good about Sterling Sharp end to end? I'm just happy Sterling Sharp got something. I am too. That's, I that's, think that's, that's a, really good. <laughs> that's one that was one of my good things was that he got the he got to be the guy on the box. The yep. guy and not just the guy on the box, it was his name. Yep. You know, they have players that will be on the Madden cover but it doesn't say, you know. Right, it's just that, yeah. Patrick Mahomes presents Madden 2020 you know it's yep it's nice that he got to put his name on the box i like that i'm gonna say something controversial this is definitely an unpopular opinion i want to preface it with the fact that objectively i think this is a mediocre 
video game Mm -hmm. uh but subjectively this is uh my favorite football game on the snes all right i can see that Uh, i can and it is because yesterday when i got home i was like fuck i gotta play this fuck i gotta play sterling shot this football game i gotta play this game for the show that i don't really want to play and i walk in the door this is my thought so like i just got done with work and now it's like now i gotta play sterling sharp and then if i can go to bed and do all this over again I walked to the door and Henry was like, dad, do you want to play Minecraft or Minecraft Dungeons tonight? And I'm like, I had to play a game. Would you like to play it with me? And he said, yep. And we put it in and we fucking played together on the same team and we won. And I will never fucking, this is like, I'll never forget this experience. And he had a lot of fun with it. That's awesome. Because he's, he doesn't know, wow. any, he doesn't know any better. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't mean that in like a, no, no, a that's... shitty way. This is, a, this is the first football game that my son has ever played. <laughs> so like, he knows that it's old because he knows that the Super Nintendo So he's going to go old. and be like, hey, the kid's like, hey, you play Les Ben? Have you guys played <laughs> Sterling Sharp end to end? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think he realized the name of the game. <laughs> Because like when we got done, he ran into the living room and was like, Mom, we played a football game, and we won. <laughs> and she said, bullshit. Yeah. She was like, with your father? <laughs> uh, so because of that, it was like, I was just so fucking amazed that, first of all, that he was down to play it. Mm-hmm. and it really, Four downs. Four downs, yeah. <laughs> and it's like, what's fucking wild is I'm like, I'm explaining football shit to him. Mm-hmm. And it's like, Almost everything is um, after I explain something is, but you really need to ask your pop up if you want to know more about that. <laughs> <laughs> and like every time, every time anything would happen, he would be like, he'd be like, "Did we lose points?" And I'm like, "No, you don't, you don't lose, lose points, points in football." <laughs> but that might be interesting. If that you would did. be. Oh my I God. wish you did. That would be a better system. <laughs> That's cool. And I, I tried. I tried to look at this game through the lens of someone who enjoys football games right mm-hmm. and i thought to myself what this reminded me of my the the best my favorite football game that i've ever played is that little green number with the lcd with the led lights in it do you remember the the little green handheld game it was i don't remember it Hold this on. is like a mattel thing yes yeah okay then yes i do know what you're talking about uh like a tiger handheld sort of thing? No. Well, no, it's not, proto, not that good. It's proto tiger. Mm. Um, it's it uses okay. Ba- it's baby this, tiger. It's this thing. <laughs> yeah. Cub. Cub. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's it's a it is. Is that what they call them things? Well, Cubs. <laughs> they're little little strap kitties. <laughs> <laughs> it's just called classic football. It looks like this. Oh, okay. It's the green thing, and it. You know the one. That is Mattel, right? Yes, it yeah. is Mattel. And it 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 has little red lights for the players. Mm-hmm. And when you throw the ball, it's a blinking light that goes across. Uh, and okay. That was my favorite thing because you know why? It didn't matter. You could pick it up and play it and have fun and play some football. To me, that's what this game reminded me of because it, despite the fact that it lacks all the flash of the team names and the players and the stats and the things and all that crap – you're not wrong, Dave. You could sit down, and if you want to play a quick game of football, this is a good game to do that with. Uh, it Because it does, it controls similarly to every other football game. Madden it really, it's out ma- there. It's, it's a, a Madden clone. clone. I mean, it really, if, that's... If you don't want to get into all that crap, pick it up and play it, you know? Yeah. And that's the other good thing I had as well, is that that is... You don't have to devote too much energy to it. You can just get in, play, and then stop. You know, if you want, whatever. And but I, I, I that's a bonus for me. Mm-hmm. But I mean, I can totally see if you are there's really if you've got this and Madden to choose from, like you're in the fucking Toys R Us, and you're like, oh, this you got to go Madden. You right. have to, yeah, because it's it, it's a better game. Like I mean, anything that Sterling Sharp does, that end to end does, is uh, worse than Madden. Yeah, like. I, I, what I should have done after we got done playing Sterling Sharp in the end, I should have been like, all right, now let's play Madden 95. Right. And just like seen his reaction. And I, this and, is so much better. Right. <laughs> and I could be like, how far apart do you think these games were made from one another? And he'd probably be like, eight years? No, son, they were developed in the same year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is effort and this is lack of effort. Yeah. Oh, but we're not talking about the bad stuff yet. Sorry. Not yet. 
Um, I thought it has a lot of plays. Mm-hmm. I thought that was nice. Um, a little overwhelming. Unless, unless you, yeah, that there you go. Yeah. That's how I felt because. It was a little overwhelming, especially for somebody like me. But yeah, but I mean, I also kind of like to just get in there and poke around and and see what there is and just see what works. So that was kind of nice. Um, I thought it, it's it's pretty fast. It was. It's a fast game. It's kind of snappy. Even when you pass and it kind of raises, it does that weird thing where yeah, the camera the angle camera, changes. When you which throw is, a pass, the camera angle, the camera like almost like goes up in the air, like it's zooming out. Yeah, so you can see more of the field, which is nice. Which is nice. We've definitely played some fucking football games on this show for this show that have not done that. Yeah, where and it's it just, just like fucking guess where the guy you're throwing to this exactly. Is. And mean, it threw me for a loop when it first happened. I was sure. like, what the fuck is this? And then I realized what they were doing yeah. and it was fine. And I think I'm not positive, but I, I think that's mode seven. And, and it if, does look it felt like mode and seven. And that's like a good use of mode seven. Mm-hmm. Like mode seven gets attacked a lot. Um, honest, you know, for good reason. I mean, right. it's misused a lot. It is. But I think but it was not this, misused. Yeah, in this case, it was like, that's a really nice use of Mode 7, just to kind of like zoom out and see the where the receivers are. Yeah. Uh, another thing I thought was good was the fact that you could like pre-program your audibles. So like if you have a specific set of like audibles you want to be able to call like change the play at the last minute you could like set say, up your that's an audiobook company so <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> an audible is right at the when you're on the line and you've already decided what play the quarterback can call an audible right. which is we change up the play and that's we're, when we're you not see gonna because he, he the defense looks at the is defense. like oh shit they're gonna fucking destroy yeah. us he looks at the defense and says oh crap they're lined up they're gonna fucking kill us in this formation, we need to change formation. So he can call an audible and get the players to move over or reposition themselves to be able to better run against the defense. Can the defense do a counter audible? Well, the defense can line up however they want in that sense. They can move players around, but not typically the audible is called at such a last moment that the defense may not have enough time mm. before the ball is uh, hiked out or you know snapped or whatever um but in this you can pre-program if you've got a specific move set that you'd like to fall back to you can pre-program your audible so i thought that was a neat mm. neat little tack on there so you don't have to cycle through all the other plays to find what you want if you say well i want to call an audible and i, I want this i'm going to get into shotgun formation all of a sudden you can just hit your little pre-program audible okay. and it'll be there so i thought that was neat that is neat i think and i'm not sure when that came into madden games so i don't know if they beat if they beat him to the madden punch to the on punch. that yeah i don't my know my guess is probably not but in but i'm also wondering about like when we were talking about you know that mode seven effect mm-hmm. where it zooms out i was in my mind i was like how do they do it in madden you know, right, cause yeah. they might, they very well may do that as well. I, I don't know just because this game is like, it's true. Like, I mean, this game is like, um, this is a Madden clone, like in the same way that street racers is like a Mario Kart clone. Mm-hmm. Like this is like, it's got the, it's got like power the, Ranger Zio. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. I got mi- I got the games mixed up. I think, um, I mean, it's so much like Madden that it's one of those where it's like, who knows? Who, what, what it's the doing. chicken or the egg right, kind of thing. Right, yeah, yeah, we don't know who did it first. One thing that Madden doesn't have is when, and I love this about this game, I truly do, every now and then, Sterling Sharp will break the fourth wall and tell you that you did something you did good. Something good, <laughs> yes. good, t- good tackle. Good I tackle. Love that, man. He called that for the defense all the time when I was. Yeah, playing. me too. And I was the Packers, so <laughs> I got nice. good. I got good run once. Uh, man, <laughs> I'm glad that you played as the Packers because uh, I had done a little research beforehand, and one like one of the big things. This is actually on my list of bad things, but like one of the things that I had read was like a big deal was that the expansion teams were in this game. The this Panthers is, and uh, the Jaguars. The Jaguars, yeah. Yeah. They were in... The, cat, the, the cats. The, the expansion yeah. team were both cats. Choose, okay. your, choose your favorite big cat. <laughs> uh, and so like I had read like that was a big deal that the expansion teams were in this game. And then I had also read that they were overpowered in this game because uh, I guess they didn't know. 
Right. And I guess they just were like, oh, I assume they're going to be the best teams in the fucking league. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> no, probably not. Turns out that's not <laughs> the case, but, you know, how could they have known? So I played as the Jaguars, and yeah, I mean, they were really fucking good. <laughs> and, like, it was like the score. You the- mean Jacksonville. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Yes, the Jackson, the Jacksonville team, uh, not to be confused with the licensed team, the Jaguars. Uh, but yeah, man, they fucking ruled, and we played against um, we played against Green Bay, oh, no. <laughs> uh, and we won. But the scores were in the fifties, right, for each team. Yeah. So it was just one of those like fucking banana big offense. Games. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we've played worse looking football games than this. We have. I think yeah, it, it was didn't look it, bad. It didn't look terrible. Strangely, I just I, you say that I thought the color of the field was really good. Vibrant. Like it looked really vibrant and it was pleasant to look at. The sprites, I feel like, were a little cartoony, a little like bit. especially compared to like Madden or something. They have more detail in Madden. That doesn't mean a lot to me yeah. in NFL, like in football games. But this is the to best some people, I'm sure it does. Perspective to play a football game. Yeah, the overhead. Because we've done the horizontal before yeah. and shit like that. And we've and done think. the fucking like behind the shoulder kind of deal too. Yeah. Some of that NFL quarterback club. Or where it's slightly tilted. Like, yeah. yeah. So this this is the best format, I think. Well, um, there is one thing that I didn't test that I do honestly think if the claims on the box are true... This is amazing, and Ian knows what it is. This game has multi-tap capabilities, which means that you can play. They claim on the box, five player, five players can play this game Man. at the same time, <laughs> which would be that awesome. Would be awesome if you had five people in playing, theory. In theory, if, right? If everyone had their own screen, it would be awesome. But just playing with one other person. A lot of times Henry was like, where am I? And I'm like, dude, you're off the screen. Right. Because it can only show so much. Mm-hmm. And it's like, if you want to see yourself, you got to run <laughs> towards the, the same the, direction the, right. as everyone else. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, mm. but still, man, that's like, wow. That's something. Yeah. yeah. Five player compatibility. I would love to, honestly, I would love to see that in action. Just do. to see what it looks like. Mm-hmm. So, you know how, I mean, they, had, they even had a bit about it. How every year there's some reviewer who... Call Saturday Night Live Saturday Night Dead. It's oh. over. That's the worst season ever. Man, that's a good joke. Every year. <laughs> yeah, every year. That's Just fresh. like oh man. I saw so yeah. many reviews say that this game, Sharp is dull. Ah. Uh, Read yeah. that oh, so Lord. many times yeah. for every fucking review of this game. Yeah. Love well, making fruit, baby. <laughs> what are, what we are do some? It. Come on. That's true. <laughs> that's true. So what are what what's the bad? Uh, I think that... I think the menuing is terrible. The menuing is. is bad. Uh, I think the passing is bad in this game. I That was one of my bads. Which really sucks, and I think is really fucking horrible, considering this that is a game Sterling by Sharp one of the... caught football. Yes. I was like, that was his thing. That was one this of my... This should be a passing game. This the... should be passing heavy. It yeah. should be easy to pass and catch footballs, because... That's what he did, right? And I spent most of my time running. Running, that was the you best way to run do it. Run, th- they would stand there and look at you, you dude. Run past them yes, sometimes. and that is on my list too. The, the AI, AI is bullshit, is fucking horrible. <laughs> yeah, because there were definitely two of the oh, same man. fads. Because they, then we know that we're right. Yes, they're like there have been like so many fucking plays where it's like the ball snaps, and what I decide to do, I start to do the play. And then it's like, that's not going to work. And I just start fucking freestyling out Uh there. And when I freestyle, (laughs) the fucking defense does not know what to do. do. They're like, literally, some of them are frozen. And I'll just run right by them because they're like, (laughs) that guy's not doing what his play said at all. I don't know what to do. (laughs) Exactly. So it's just, yeah. That was bad. I'm glad you guys figured it out because I didn't know. This is, it's the same problem I run in every football game. I would really have to make an investment into learning something about football. Yeah. I know. Nothing and this game is not helping me. I don't. Yeah, it's not Choosing a good plays, teaching game. Running, moving, anything. I just got creamed over and over yeah. and over. I'm in my end zone and I can't get out of it. So, yeah, oh, dude, that's it. dude, <laughs> you saying that? The fucking and this ties into the AI being bad, guys. The first fucking play, the like the kickoff, the kickoff. I fucking kick it too far and it it's in their end zone and it's like, well, fuck, okay, they're gonna just kneel. Uh, no, man, we got a safety. What? Because they just fucking stood there. 
They the AI just stood there. They didn't even try to return the ball. Nothing. Uh, we just fucking tackled them in in the end zone. So and it's what like is first a play. It's where you if you tackle them when you're in. I can't remember. Is it your end zone or their end zone? Their end zone. Their end zone. Because they're trying to get it to yours. Do you get two points? So right off the bat, it was like two points, and then now we receive the ball, and it's like <laughs> this game is fucking. It's not programmed well. No, That's, it's not. The, the, the AI programming is like truly where this game like really, really falls apart. Because mm-hmm. there were so many points, there were so many touchdowns that we got just from honestly, just from, just from fucking like knowing how to not really like on a fucking like genius level, but how to hack the fucking AI mm-hmm. where it's like, it's not hacker gonna, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> They're like, not going to know how low oh, they expected me to go. Right. It's not like, right. It's like, it's just like, I'll just go left. Yeah, and then they're just, the, they the, don't know what they to don't, do. Like, uh, I don't know. We weren't programmed for <laughs> we, this. We ran out of code, homie. Loading, we were just gonna stay <laughs> loading, yeah. loading. We yeah. somehow knew what play you were going to run, <laughs> and then when you didn't <laughs> run it, we didn't know what to do. Yeah, maybe they did have too many plays in this game. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because there was a play in the game called Sheep, uh, and that was our go-to because. We could definitely game the AI that way because it's all like push to the right. Everybody goes to the right. Mm-hmm. And if you start going to the right and then change to go to the left, yeah, that's what all the defense is going this <laughs> way. Just, and you're just, they just lock up running home with the ball. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Did it deliver on your expectations? It exceeded my expectations. Yeah. I, I would say that it probably exceeded mine too. I thought this was going to be real bad. Yeah. And it's not good. But it it wasn't real bad. We've played worse games than this. I do feel like many we've, worse games. Well, we played worse football games than mm-hmm. this. Yeah. So where would it rank in your uh, the full scope of the Tadbog Super Nintendo? Top one hundred, bottom one hundred, middle fifty, bottom two fifty. It's in the middle. It's for in me. the middle. Yeah. I mean, but a lot of mine is just truly coming from the fact that like I had a really good experience playing this with Henry. Like, I mean. It's a big deal. That's a, That's big, a big deal. deal. But like, if I'm taking that out of it, I still don't think it's a bottom 100. I think it's somewhere. I think it's somewhere in the middle. The it, the biggest the biggest crime that Sterling Sharp end to end made, aside from naming itself that, is that it's not Madden. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I do want to say, like as I've said, I'm not a football person. I know nothing about football, but I do have a football team that I do like and support, and that's Green Bay. That's just because I like how cheese. their own cheese and how their ownership's done. Oh, and I yeah, think I it's bullshit that. that NFL put a stop to it. So Bur- go Bernie Sanders, go Green Bay Packers. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have any achievements? Uh, I have a few achievements. That's good. Uh, I've got first achievement. You guys ready for this? It's gonna mm-hmm. be good. You're gonna love it. Because mm-hmm. every go crazy man, I shot him to this man. Oh, no! uh, I want you to do get out with your every day. <laughs> uh, in order to unlock, because every go crazy man, I shot him to this man. Oh, no! you play as Sterling Sharp in this video game. I'm so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> was that an excuse to fucking shout that twice? You yeah. bet it was. Next achievement. You guys are going to love this one even more because it's very clever. I assure you, it is very clever. Extra sharp cheddar. Sharp is with an E, you see. (laughs) Nice. Nice. In order to unlock extra sharp cheddar, uh, strategically. (laughs) We have, man, man. It's back. If anyone wow. listening gets that reference, my soul left my body. One thousand. Doctor Strange hit my <laughs> my soul out of my body for a second. I uh, fucking made a rip in the multiverse. If anybody understands the strategically reference, you lit Ramon out. Yeah, <laughs> you lit Ramon. he was in another movie. I don't. You get one thousand Tad Bog points, redeemable at uh, your local Toys R Us. Uh, you did it again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, uh, in order to unlock extra sharp ch- cheddar, you strategically advance to the end of the playoffs by entering a password. Because this game mm. weirdly has a password system, <laughs> which I think is so fucking strange because it's like there's no season mode in this game. 
you, why do you need a password? <laughs> and it's because, I don't know, man, you, fin- you played one playoff game and you're like, fuck this shit. I'll come back to this in March. <laughs> you, get a, you get a password <laughs> that they put in. And I looked online. I was like, man, I bet there's like fucking great passwords for this game. No. Nope, there's nothing. Nothing out there. I couldn't, tell you, I couldn't find a single fucking cheat. I couldn't find a single password for this game. <laughs> there's no place out Where there that has... Where are the game has... genie codes? No. <laughs> no one... No, this game... There's no move there's no like controls yeah got or listed inst- anywhere or instruction book yeah peeves the peeves archive which <laughs> is like to, famous for having like all mm-hmm. the snes manuals i think they're missing i think i said 16 manuals at this point which is amazing mm-hmm. one of the missing manuals is sterling sharp mm-hmm. and i went on ebay i was like yeah i'm just curious how much this runs 125 dollars <laughs> yeah i saw that and too I, and i think that dude honestly i think that dude was like He'll come off it eventually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they need the scan. So I mean, surely it's worth a hundred. It's fucking scarcity. Or I'll scan it for you for a hundred and ten. <laughs> <laughs> you got to buy me the scanner though. <laughs> God, it's like whenever uh, when Melissa reached out to that one guy yeah, from Tiger that's King. What, that's what I Buy me a laptop. I'll come on your show. Okay. Bye. Enjoy. <laughs> relative Tiger <obscurity>. King. <laughs> Uh, so I forgot where I was going with that, but that was fun. Oh yeah, the instruction manuals. There's nothing on this game online. Go to like Game Facts. It says we have no controls. We have no cheats. Good we luck. have no information about this game except the words that are written on the back of the box. Yeah. So there's a slight chance, a very slight chance that the passing in this game is very, very good. Uh, we just don't know how to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then my last achievement. Comes in from one first time caller, Nate Glines. Ah. And that is Sterling Sharpay. Oh. <laughs> in order to unlock Sterling Sharpay, grimace at the thought of playing this game until you look like a Sharpay. <laughs> nice. Because I had two. I had my first one being Safety Dance. Ah. And that's get a safety in the end zone <laughs> as soon as you start this fucking game. Because that's, I got that one. And I got the other one, which is... Uh, Everybody sh- look at your hands. Sharp with an E is dull. <laughs> hey! So get shut out as Green Bay. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a question for you. I'm really glad that you played as Green Bay. Mm-hmm. Is Sterling Sharp named in his own game? Not that I noticed. <laughs> oh, no. man, that's a bummer. <laughs> Because he would he would show up, you know, in his Green Bay uniform, congratulating the other team. <laughs> <laughs> nice poor tackle. God. Way to get that guy in the end zone. That poor guy. We didn't even did we even mention that he got injured and couldn't play anymore? It we did, up, didn't yeah. we? Good. Because yeah. <laughs> it, it, it was uh, I saw that hit where uh, you know it was a uh, helmet down, head to head, like, and then what like, cracked his vertebrae in his neck that he had to get fused together and it was just I'm desensitized honestly Ooh. I truly am because when I saw the hit I was like that's it you know what I mean mm-hmm. like uh, but obviously I'm not on the field or anything but and Sterling Sharp is like a fucking strong dude mm-hmm. you know what I mean but like I don't know it was helmet to helmet but it wasn't like full speed or anything. Like I was, I was just, it was one of those moments where it's like, Oh shit, we are fucking frail. Yeah. We are. <laughs> like, and it's long, it's long since been like life. Is you a get a severe penalty for, for a helmet to helmet. Now. Right. It's like potential ejection sure. from the game because it just, you're literally ramming your head into the head of another person and pushing the neck down and, Oof. That is bad. Even that's, at, that's even what at I learned not from, high speed, and yeah. they say, "Oh yeah," because I mean they were just standing. Yeah, like the play just started. Essentially, they were and like it was just, just far apart, and yeah. it was just like a headbutt. Like you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. I'm not trying to disparage no, it no. at all. It's just I had no idea. Mm-hmm. It was one of those where it's like, "Oh shit!" That that stopped him from playing football for the rest of his life mm-hmm. because of that. He had to have vertebrae fused together. We are fucking frail as shit. And I've seen and that it. strong dude. That I mean, that strong dude. Yeah, I've seen. <laughs> so it's almost hits. like football's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> it is brutal, and I've seen some hit. They've come a long way towards trying to make it at least a little bit safer. You know, mm-hmm. obviously the nature of the game. It's dangerous. Helmet technology has come leaps and bounds over what it was. They've got all different styles of helmets with yeah, the not, shock absorbers not inside them. Yeah, exactly. But Man, work that, for a thief. 
<laughs> Some of those head to head hits are brutal. Crap quilted armor. Especially if they're running at each other and that and sometimes it happens accidentally, you know, but right, you still sure. could get fined and kicked out of the game and I mean it's it's bad because they know how fucking many people have been taken out for uh, well, for life because of that shit. Well, it's and, bad. And in the, like the clip that I watched of him like g- getting that injury, uh it was really heartbreaking because it's like I knew because the clip was, you know, the the this is, this the, is what yeah. ended his career. This is the domino, right? But he over. didn't at that moment. No, and that was what no. uh, that's what was heartbreaking because yeah. eventually he's got unstunned and got up and he's like smiling and like you can tell that he's like relieved that he can move Walk. again. He's not paralyzed yeah. anymore. And yeah, that was heartbreaking because it's like he doesn't know that that's like this is it. That's it. it. Well, this reminds me of something else heartbreaking I heard yesterday was Bob Saget's cause of death was released. Oh, yeah, I don't know. We heard about that. I heard no, about this. No, what, what was it? He hid his head in his hotel room, didn't think anything of it, went to bed, died, oh, died to sleep. No. You know, they tell you not to, not go, to go to sleep, sleep if, if you, you have, have like a, a concussion. concussion. Right. Was it a true concussion or Apparently, was it like a contusion? Or I don't know for sure what. Because they saw it was like a yeah injury to the like the back of his head, so he must have like hit his head real hard on something. And was like, oh well, that sucks. Well, I'm sleepy. I'll go to bed. I, but I got to like this isn't like I'm not trying to make light of his death or anything. But like if I had to choose a way, that sounds that's not bad. Not too bad. You're right. You know what I mean? You don't because you, you just, just sleep. Die. You just yeah. What Natasha yeah. Natasha Henstridge went this went the same way. Liam Neeson's wife. She oh. fell out of a fell out of a ski lift mm-hmm. and hit her head. Yep. Was fine the rest of the day. Went to bed that night. Didn't wake up. Jesus yep. Christ. You had, so the rest of the day she was. Yeah. Fine? You could walk around all day because you might have a well, what brain you bleed do? and not know about it. Just go to the hospital. If you hit your head hard enough, like how hard? Like what's the what's like what's the threshold? Hard enough to be like, man, am I okay? <laughs> like oh, like <laughs> hard enough question, to be like, do I need to go to the I hospital? Bet, yeah. yeah. If you th- if you question it, go to the hospital gotcha. because that's, that's the why kind I'm, of thing they yeah. that uh, clearly. When I went to when I you. when I that semi hit me, that's why I went to the hospital. Yeah. So. And they were like, "It's fine. You can go to sleep." They're and you're fine. like, "I, I can't. Go ahead. I'm so sleepy." <laughs> yeah, if you get sleepy, you know there's a problem, right? <laughs> okay, that's fair. That's very fair. Like if you get sleepy, I'm sleepy. You're something's like, oh, wrong. Fuck, I gotta get to the hospital immediately. <laughs> I don't have to pee, and I'm sleepy. Uh-oh. I'm dying. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! I pooped, and it was solid. <laughs> <laughs> Strange magics are at work. <laughs> but I mean, that sucks to hear about. I mean, Bob Saget, but like, I don't know. I kind of get like a weird, like, I don't know, like a weird, like, well, at least it wasn't like a fucking violent death yeah. that he had or, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I don't know. There's I, some solace in there. there. Yeah, I agree. That's all I got for achievements. Ian, do you have any achievements? I wish you hadn't asked me that. Oh, okay. <laughs> you trying you to need just, to work out a sign. Okay. I was trying to dodge the question. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. no, I don't. <laughs> the I next didn't. time you want me to not ask you that, just whip out your dick and start jerking off. That's a okay. joke. I'll do that. I just that. want to know that's a joke. <laughs> I'll do that, but not really let everybody because know. I would be vulgar. But don't come. Wrong. It's a joke, <laughs> unless, <laughs> unless you want to. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but still don't come, again, unless you want to. <laughs> unless you want to. <laughs> <laughs> this is a joke. <laughs> I can't wait for the day when all of this makes sense uh, <laughs> uh, to everyone else. That's, I'm fine with that. Yeah, it's whatever. good for me. Fine. Um, I no, I didn't have a chance to uh, sit down and <laughs> I, come up with oh, witty achievements. I see I'm you sorry. taking your piece out and you're going to town. All right, Tyler. <laughs> I'm just impressed by Ian's stroke. I know. Good technique. <laughs> so long. Careful. Careful. <laughs> Easy there. <laughs> He's not even using lube. <laughs> wow, that's <laughs> pro level <Lube>. shit. <laughs> Old school, middle school style. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, he's uncircumcised, which helps. He's got his, own, he's got his <laughs> sleeve. The longest foreskin. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a, sl- it's like one of those little, uh, try and find the base. The little, the little tubes you used to squeeze. In oh, the water, the water weenies. Yeah. yeah. It's like two of those. <laughs> water weenies? <laughs> Water weenies. <laughs> it's this tube. It looks like an uncircumcised penis. It does look what's it's inside of flesh water. Light. And they <laughs> named it a weenie? It's full of water. And it looks like an and uncircumcised penis? you squeeze penis? it like just through your hands and it just sort of... <laughs> Sometimes there'll be like dolphins and stars in yeah. it. <laughs> was this, wait, was this like a quote children's toy oh, yeah. that yeah. moms bought yep. uh-huh. for themselves? 
moms no, kind yeah. of deal? Moms, no, no, oh, for their kids. For the ch- children. <laughs> I'm gonna look this up. Right? Is there like a commercial for water willies? Weenie, weenie, weenie. Don't right. be crass. <laughs> Sorry, my bad, my bad. It's not. It's not England. We're on the Isle of Man. They have water. <laughs> water weenies. You remember those people little, bought this? Remember those sticky octopuses you could throw oh, against God, the wall yeah. and they would crawl down. Yeah, the wall. and they were they awesome were... for five minutes. <laughs> and then they got dusty. They got their hair, 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 hair all <laughs> over them. I don't understand why this doesn't work anymore. Mom, fix it. And yeah, I said octopuses. What of it? You're um, right. Mm. I think yeah. It's, wait, that it's octo- is, that is the correct. It's not yep. octopi. Nope. Oh. I think a sing. You were correct. It is octopuses. 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 Wow. Tyler. And by saying octopuses, <laughs> I mean multiple copies of the James Bond movie Octopussy. <laughs> or the or the mock bluster. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Which is weirdly also named Se- Octopussy. Septopussy. <laughs> Septopussy. What a um, bold m- movie title. Hell yeah, they went all out on that one. <laughs> I mean, that's like a, what year did this come out? <laughs> so my my mother was a huge James Bond fan. That was yeah. our thing. We would sit around and watch James Bond movies together. When that one came out, being the you know wholesome Christian mm-hmm. woman that she was, she would not say the title of that. Uh, we are not watching Octobox, not on my <laughs> fucking life. <laughs> she wouldn't say the title of it. I don't blame She her. watched the movie, but she wouldn't say yeah. the title out loud. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? No. Okay. Tyler. Yes, Dave. If you, you ask me get, a question. <laughs> uh, if you were to give this game a beard, what kind of beard would you give it? Simbad's barely there goatee in necessary roughness. Nice. Oh, nice. Man, I love Simbad so much. I do too. Man. I love when he came to Murray State. Oh, it was I wonderful. So, I so regret not, not seeing mm. that. He's a funny guy. I like him. He called on uh, Jacob's roommate at the time whenever he was doing his uh, crowd work. Really? And made fun of him for, what was this, his, maybe computer engineering or something. He was, you know, he was talking to him about it. Computers is a fad. Is that what he said? <laughs> it might have been. Uh, I know that's a pretty good joke. Uh, Tyler. <laughs> yes, Dave. If you were to give this game a pair of glasses, it sums up how you feel about it. What kind of glasses would you give it? Clippy's eyeballs, because it's Clippy. <laughs> Clippy is about what Sh- Sterling Sharp looks like. Clippy helped. The, Would you like to put a picture of Sterling Sharp here? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The opening of the game is very much a PowerPoint presentation. You're not wrong. Would you like the Rugrats background? Yes, please. Yes. Yeah, choose your Nicktoon background. <laughs> we have Rugrats or all real monsters. <laughs> Uh, is this a rent or a buy? I think, you know, I think it would be. If you have a five way multi tap and a way to do it, it's and a, it, it would and be it a actually buy. Actually, works. Yeah, it would be a buy. I it, think for that, for that, for, for that alone. slumber parties, and if that worked, and I can't think of any other football game that has that. So I can't either. Would this be a rent? I, There's I think no this, way it's good though. I think this would be more I mean, of a rent than buy. Then not buy. You know what I mean? But if you were given the game. Right. You can make do. You can make do. I can make do with this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Rent, not buy. I think there are some games that are rent, then buy. But this one is not that. Well, that used to be my whole thing where it's like. You rent to see if you want to own it. Yeah. And that's how I would. That's actually how I convinced my mom to let me rent games. Right. Because it's like if I rent games, I can kind of test out what I like. Exactly. And then we're not wasting money. Mm-hmm. And she's like, I don't buy you video games anyway. But that's a good argument. Sure. <laughs> I don't buy you video games anyway. Don't smell this chicken. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you do, don't smell this chicken. Uh, man, that's a, that's there a deep you go. cut, too. Welcome, new listeners. <laughs> strategically, yeah, we're throwing smell, that whole this inside Joe thing just out the window. <laughs> it's a sports it's a episode. football game. We can do that. <laughs> this is for the homers. Right? Yeah. You guys uh, want to know what Flopsy has to say about yes, Sterling Sharp? Do you have any guesses? We want to. Do you want to ask about the? Oh, we should probably do price before first. we know what it's. Well, the instruction is. manual is one hundred and twenty-five dollars. <laughs> hundred and twenty six dollars hundred twenty six <laughs> bucks for Tyler. What do you think? I'm going to go a more conservative, uh, relatively 
speaking, all right, seventy five dollars. So that's more moderate than conservative, yeah. but uh, well, I meant relative to his price. <laughs> oh yeah, all right. It's more of an Obama, but okay. Actual, <laughs> yeah, actual retail value. He's going to reach across the aisle, but really, ultimately, get nothing done in his second term. Uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah. Uh, actual retail value of Sterling Sharp end to end on PriceCharting.com. At the time of this recording is seventeen dollars and thirty six cents. Way over. Is it worth it? Seventeen dollars. Seventeen bucks. I would like to point out. I think the Madden games are cheaper than that. Well, they're Maybe. way more common though, right? Yeah. I don't know. Well, fl- Flopsy will tell us how common this is. I have no idea. I would. I bet they give it one star though. You think one star from Flopsy? And I bet it. And I bet it's an uncommon game. Okay. I'm going to say very uncommon and two stars. Very uncommon and two stars. According to Flopsy, a.k.a. the ultimate Nintendo guide to the SNS library 1991 to 1998 by Pat Contry, courtesy of Monster Mole Mike, Sterling Sharp end to end is one and a half stars. We got Get on you either the side of the average. <laughs> and it is an uncommon game. All right. There we go. And I, right. I like the fact that one of the screenshots they included in the review is Sterling Sharp breaking the fourth wall saying, nice tackle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, do you want to see what we're going to play next week then? Let's do it. Surely it's not another sports game. If it is, we'll do a called shot. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Let me get the batter up peripheral, plug it in, do some wild and crazy kid shit and okay. say the prayer we all love yeah. to say. Uh-huh. No whammies, no whammies, no whammies. Stop. Unprecedented. 397. I say unprecedented because we have not done this game before. Guts. Ooh. 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 I'm going to take on the aggro crag? Fuck yeah. It's not guts. Mm. Starts with an N. Nickelodeon guts. (laughs) Nailed it. (laughs) It is Nosferatu. Oh, a shit. A notoriously That's, bad game. And that Ryan that, stole from that girl. <laughs> <laughs> jokes. Oh, that yes. show about jokes, remember? <laughs> Fucking jokes on the show. That that girl left at his house. <laughs> no one stole shit from anybody. And he didn't say anything about it. So Guilt by inaction. <laughs> Fucking jokes. Nosferatu. Yeah, I'm down to do that. Nosferatu. I've seen the movie. There's a TV show. Really? It's one of the vampires you can play in Vampire the Masquerade. Yeah, they're like the ugly ones. Yeah, they're the ones. They're that the like... best vampires. Like, Yeah. I mean, I don't know anything about Vampire the Masquerade, but like, we'll get into this, uh, I'm they, sure. they just have the lowest humanity score, so they can't like go out and interact with people, but they're the most right? powerful, I think. Oh, okay. That may... this, this is based off a 10-year explanation from... People, someone who does not be named will sure, not be named sure. because he stole it from Walmart. So. <laughs> Jokes. Jokes. No, he really did no, not. He did <laughs> no, he we, straight up And did. we do not support that <laughs> at all. Never. Uh, yeah, I'm ready to talk about this game already. I haven't even played it because I got shit to say about vampires and Las Feratus and all that. We already know the Corey Feldman, so. <laughs> oh, man, it's so, it's, oh, it's so too, on the nose. It's too easy. It's too easy. <laughs> License to drive. Fuck it. <laughs> because if he were a vampire and looked in that rearview mirror, he wouldn't see himself at all. This is the dad. <laughs> it's the dad from Fresh Prince in License to Drive. Get actually, out of the my Nosferatu. dreams. <laughs> da, 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 a coffee Ferratu. Get into my car. Da, da, da. That's your achievement. Go ahead and write it down. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna have <laughs> achievements next week. I promise you, I will have achievements next week. If you oh. don't, then I'm everything fired. Will be, everything will be fine. There's nothing will <laughs> oh, happen. Apex to me. style. Yeah, yeah. If you don't, you're fired. Okay. All right, we take a second break before we break into the community corner. Yeah, community corner. Let's do it. A couple right. of K's. Yeah. And we're back. Welcome to c- 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 community co- corner. Oh man, guys, you're ready. Mango Sentinel. <laughs> Mango Sentinel, looking like a New York Knicks. <laughs> This Man. segment's so Pringles. Man. It's, we're, yeah. it's an old school show tonight. <laughs> yeah. Strategically, fucking <laughs> don't smell the chicken. <laughs> fucking Pringles reference. Mm. Man. You know what else I really like? Mondo. This Mondo I'm sipping from. <laughs> <laughs> 
shit, dog. Nine years ago <laughs> with Mondo. <sighs> what you thought Mondo looked like in 2012, what Mondo <laughs> actually looked like in 2000. It's a meme. I'm just spitballing here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, the kids will love it. They love the memes. They love the memes. Uh, well, we got a package over there. We got a package. So that package. We got a package that is from not one, but two. We got one from Terrified Michelle and uh, Executive Bruiser Abigail. Are you handing it to me to open? I'm just handing it for somebody to open. You can go and open it. I again. feel like I do right. a lot of talking and stuff. So it's a thick boy. It's a thick boy. Got all kinds of. But what about the package? Yeah. Yeah. I was trying to tell Dave I didn't have achievements, and I got. <laughs> yeah, what about the water weenie? We got some sh- What about the bop it? <laughs> Twist it. Squeeze it. Smack it. This is wrapped in it's all wrapped manner in Christmas. of shiny Christmas paper. Yeah. So it was that, was it a robot chicken where the, the guy was playing with the bop it? Bop it. Twist it. Extend the nozzle. <laughs> pull out pull out the trigger. Go to the library. Slow. Kill the president. <laughs> okay. A we show have... with jokes in it. <laughs> yeah. It's weird. We have a Oh, is it a hot a sauce? flight of Arizona gunslinger pepper sauces. Pew pew. pew, pew, pew. The heat you could eat. <laughs> nice. Arizona gunslinger. Man, Let's you see. sound like the plock boss music there for a second. That was great. <laughs> Let's see, we got jalapeno pepper sauce, chipotle habanero pepper sauce, a really green green jalapeno pepper sauce, habanero pepper sauce, and habanero and mango pepper sauce. Ooh, mango sentinel. All right. It all comes around. It's, it's damn. Habanero mango sentinel. And I would just like to point out, there's some cat hair on this. All right. So all right. We got a piece of their cat. So let's too. clone their cat. Here, you want me to read the back? I'll that's read the when, back. That's when Mango Please. Sentinel gets the spirit of vengeance and he becomes habanero, <laughs> habanero. Mango Sentinel. <laughs> Man, I would love to see the fucking a Sentinel riding around on a fucking motorcycle. Uh, here now that Ghost Rider is like driving a car. Yeah, he's in a hot rod. It's wild. Can't remember what kind of car. Old school, some old school Tercel. thing. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a, a it's Tercel. a. <laughs> <laughs> what if it was Kit from Knight Rider? That'd be kind of that's no, the only Knight acceptable. Rider. Like I feel like you know, eighties Camaro, yeah. yeah, or the Batmobile. I feel like that'd be a real get from Marvel. Uh, the perfect gift pack for a friend or for yourself. These travel size bottles are perfect for your purse or glove box. Enjoy them at home or take them to your local restaurant to spice up your next meal. Okay. Pause for just a second. Has anybody at this table brought hot sauce into a restaurant? Never. I brought sriracha into a restaurant. That counts. Before. All right. Okay. That doesn't surprise me because I you, figured out of all. No, I never no. have. Because I'm the kind of I'm the guy that's like, just order the thing that's on the menu. I'm not an expert. Tyler, you are. So like, I, I never. I have a keychain that's a sriracha bottle. So I never. I have oh, used. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. But. I don't know. I never want to fuck with it because it's just like, I don't know, man. They make the food. They know it's good, yeah, right? Right. Leave it Leave it to them. Yeah. Gunslinger. It's got the heat you can eat. Oh, Five man. flavorful pepper sauce choices to please your palate. Brought to you by the Arizona Pepper Products Company. I was going to be in an Arizona Mesa, green tea. Arizona. All right. azgunslinger.com. Dot com. Dot com. Cool. Let's drink them. The heat. Drink them. <laughs> I'll drink one. I'll, which, put, I'll put it in the pepper pile. Which one do you want me to drink? The green one. All right. One gulp. <laughs> uh, yeah, these look like they're little, uh, if you've ever painted miniatures. Yeah, they look like little uh, enamel paint bottles. No, oh, I can't open it. Sorry, I can't drink one. <laughs> put but, it but, on that, the... but that looks very, very nice. Thank you, guys. Yeah, it does look very yes. nice. Thank you. Thank you for thinking of us. Mm-hmm. Chipotle. I'm, I'm trying to figure which one of these would be the best. I honestly think the green jalapeno is probably going to be the mm. tastiest. Yeah, Not the spiciest. Got like a hatch the, green chili. Yeah, I do. I like green. I don't know. I like green hot sauces, you know? Mm-hmm. Tomatillos are underrated, especially in our area, our neck of the woods. They're very, very underrated. Mm. I agree. I think that one uh, Captain Gunner, John Turley, would agree. It's good shit. Yeah. I have um, some questions for you guys. Mm. 
That comes from one um, me. <laughs> I got some questions from me because uh, I didn't get a quiz from one <laughs> Ross Rachel Green from across the pond. But so tomorrow when he remembers, he will. He's going to be upset, yeah. I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he's going to be upset. Uh, I would take full responsibility because we totally talked about the Japanese language. So right now I'm going to send him recently the the gif of. The tenth doctor in the rain, looking sad. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. The best to. doctor. I, I I've, I'm always torn between <laughs> him and Matt Smith. I really am. I think Matt Smith is my doctor, but I do love the tenth doctor. Yeah, me too. It took me a second. I'm, I'm like, where, where is Ross Rachel Green? Oh, that's not actually his name on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not voted. I'll leave the island. First question: Fuck, Mary, kill, mayo, mustard. Ketchup. I will marry mayo. Interesting. Mayo boy. I I enjoy it on my sandwiches, my burgers, but you can also mix it with things to make egg salad, tuna fish salad, you know. That is true. It's very versatile. Where where do you stand on uh, with Cool Whip? What do you mean? Where do you stand with it? How do you feel about it? It's fine. Okay. I could take it or leave it. I feel like that Cool Whip is one of those things that... Miracle Whip? Oh, yeah. Mir- oh, I What's... was like, what the fuck? Sorry, sorry. No, real... I, don't... I, I hate Miracle Whip. <laughs> okay, there we go. That's all right. There we go. All right. I should have like... known I fucked something up when there wasn't like an immediately... Like... <laughs> cool Whip. Uh, whip and Nay Nay? Whip it? I don't even if I can see in red from it. Jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes. I don't even really see the relevance of Cool Whip, but I mean, I guess I like it fine. I don't know. Yeah, sorry. Miracle Whip. I'm I, dumb. <laughs> Miracle Whip I fucking hate. I'm, okay, I'm a Hellman's go. real mayonnaise guy. Hellman's. Hellman's. All right, Hellman's. The heat. You can't know. <laughs> uh, I like mayo on everything, you know, and, it, and because you can mix it Cereal? with a lot of stuff. Yeah, it's the best. It looks like Ma- milk. Applejack sandwich? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Peanut butter and jelly and mayo. <laughs> um, and then I'm going ma- to fuck ketchup because I like ketchup. I don't eat it much. I occasionally eat it on a fry. Uh-huh. Um, and then I'm going to kill mustard. And not because I don't like mustard. I just don't use it very much mm-hmm. at all. Like It's rare that I will put mustard on anything. I like it fine. Just not my favorite. Yeah. Out of the three, I'm killing that. See, it's, it's it's hard because if we're looking at, if we're just looking at regular mayonnaise, if we're looking at yellow mustard and we're looking at ketchup, my answer is going to be different okay. from, <laughs> say, if it's varieties of ketchup, varieties of mustard, and varieties of mayo. Mayo is mayo the best base for mm-hmm. all sorts of shit. So I think mayo is the king of the sauces, but it's that's just because it's a base. Mm-hmm. It's a base to add. I don't like mayo unless you add shit to it. Okay. So, but if it's just mayo on its own merits, I'm gonna kill mayo. Like you mean like as a condiment or just like just like mayo on my sandwich? Like I, I like Kewpie mayo, but I I don't really like mayo or Miracle Whip. I grew up on Miracle Whip. I don't think I ever had mayo till I was an adult because my parents bought exclusively. Light Miracle Whip. Me that was, too. Yes. That's why I fucking hate Miracle Whip. I, I think I think mayonnaise is better now that I've now that once I had other things and not just it's too sweet. Yeah. Miracle Whip Miracle Whip is too sweet. I don't know what we use. That's how like <laughs> that's how that's how it's just a blank jar of white. Stuff. That's a little of opinion I have on it, honestly because it's like. I'm just not, I, I don't, I'm sure maybe I could tell the difference. I couldn't do, like, you couldn't put one on a sandwich and be like, tell me if that's mayo or if that's Miracle Whip. Yeah. <laughs> not Cool Whip. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't be able to tell you. Yeah. Honestly. But if you put them side by side, I probably could. You just know, just know that Miracle Whip is going to be the one that's sweeter. Is that right? Yep. It's a lot sweeter. Uh, mustard. I mean, shit. I mean, yellow mustard, stone ground mustard, Dijon mustard. I mean, I, I think I'm I'm probably gonna have to to marry mustard and then ketchup. I don't like different varietals of ketchup very much. I just like give me your well jalapeno ketchup. Take that in the back. I love Heinz jalapeno ketchup. Uh, but because of that, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna fuck ketchup. Uh, I'm marrying mayo. Just kidding. It's mustard um, because I love it. Uh, mustard Man, is no like no calories. A fucking yep. 
Yep. When and I'm, it's a yeah, you get a good flavor punch from yep. mustard without having to sacrifice calories. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I love I get it. That. Even like I've even had some salads with mustard in it. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, it's just like, yeah. okay, yep, yeah, that's good. I like it. Um, and then I mean, yeah, and you're right. I mean, there's so many like different like kinds of mustard, and I I wouldn't consider a horseradish that mustard, but I mean it's fucking close. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I love a good horseradish mayo. I do too. Horsey sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Horsey sauce. I do too. It's a great way to ruin a good decision at Arby's. Yes. So, I mean, it tastes great. You know what I mean? But like, like even on like eat this, not that it's like, if you go to Arby's, get the fucking classic roast beef. It's not that bad, you know? Mm -hmm. And it's like, but then you add that horsey sauce to it. All of a sudden you made a bad decision, (laughs) Uh, but it's so fucking good. So Mm. good. Um, also the buns, man. It's so like depressing how many fucking calories are just in the bun. In mm-hmm. a bun. Yeah. I know, man. Where it's just like, I want to go to Arby's and be like, give me a triple and just throw the buns away. <laughs> <laughs> just give you a stack of rope. Because if you yeah. don't, I will. Hit a fork. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then I guess I'll, it's, then it gets really hard for me because it's like, I don't eat a lot of ketchup. Generally, I think. Like one of the worst things in the world, like one of the worst smells, I get, I have weird hangups about certain food smells. Mm-hmm. Maple syrup, don't like it. Hate it. Hate for the, I like the taste of it, fine. But like, it's impossible to eat it without smelling it fucking hours later. And it's yeah. like a sickly sweet smell to me. You and yeah. Melissa are on the same. God, wavelength. man, there's something about that. it where it's just like, ugh. Like when Henry's eating waffles. It's like, oh my God, he's eating waffles. I'm going to fucking smell this for Does like all day. Does he combine it with peanut butter yet? Uh, No. That's what the girls do. I can do maple syrup by itself, but man, the cloying. smell and the mess of, because they'll, they'll all make an Eggo waffle, smear it with peanut butter, and put maple syrup yeah. on it. Sounds like probably good, but man, the smell. It does sound I, actually pretty good. That's one smell I do. I'm with you on that. Man, I fucking hate that smell, and it is a nasty thing to clean up, because then they go to sit in the sink, and it's just like a tarry mess of Yeah, Yeah. and see, you know, Henry's like seven, so he's not like, you know, he's kind of messy. For like a seven-year-old, like, he's a pretty good eater, but Mm. like, you know, compared to like an adult who has to clean up shit, uh, he's a little messy, so like, invariably, anytime he eats uh, waffles, like uh, mayo, God damn. I know my condiments as well. Maple syrup. Cool whip. <laughs> cool whip. Please. It's proper form. Cool whip on a waffle is not bad, though. Yeah, I could. Yeah, I could Strawberries and cool whip on a waffle? Sure. Right. But right. Miracle whip yeah. on a waffle, not so not much. Not so much. No, right out. <laughs> Unless you're using it as bread, right? Oh, yeah. On a chicken sandwich. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> you're right. You found, you found the loophole. <laughs> Uh, but man, he'll be eating waffles and it's like, I guarantee you one, a- I'm going to clean the table and I'm not like, I'm going to miss, like, You're gonna miss it. I'm going to miss it. Mm-hmm. There's going to be a spot that I'm going to miss. And three hours later, I'm going to set like a tabletop role-playing game rule book down on the table. And it's going to, I'm going to pick it up later and be like, ah, fuck. Mm-hmm. That's why you get a dirty Foxtrot book at your test book. <laughs> and you, gotta, you know, you set it down all the places you're kind of worried about. Let me throw this piss trap on the table. That'll take care of it. <laughs> Uh, and so I don't know. I'm torn at this point where it's just kind of like, <sighs> I guess I'll, I eat more mayo than I eat ketchup, but like it's in certain situations, like mayo in certain situations, I feel like is really good as a condiment. And then outside of that, it's like well, fucking horrible. Uh, but you bring up a good point about it being a good base. So I'll probably, uh, cause I'll, every aioli and then I love like a sriracha mayo oh, yeah. and shit like that. But yeah, just by itself. I think I'll I think I'll fuck mayo then. And I guess I'll kill ketchup. I do like ketchup, cold ketchup with fucking hot piping fries. hot fries. That oh is my an God. amazing combination. But oh right. I but I hate the smell of ketchup. Like like more straight out of the it's fine, yeah. but like an hour later, like if I have some on my finger or I know. something I know. or in my mustache and I missed it, I'm like Oh, fuck, man. You and Melissa could live in the same sm- smell-free household. <laughs> in the same habitation. She, she does not like the maple syrup and ketchup. Yep. Uh, but, but it's fine immediately. Like, if I'm eating it, it's fine. But, yeah, if it's like, it, 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 there's a shelf life on the smell of ketchup, yeah. and it's fucking short. Yeah. Next question. Sorry I went so long on that. <laughs> fuck, Mary, it, it was kill. It conversation piece. Salary, onions, bell peppers. 
I don't have a particular fondness for any of them. Almost, really? almost I, a trinity. Almost. <laughs> oh, yeah? What's the trinity? Well, because Mirepoix, the French one, is carrot, celery, and onion. And then the trinity in Louisiana cooking is bell peppers, carrots, and onions. Okay. All right. Interesting. I love this. I'm learning things. I forget them, but I'm learning them. And that part's <laughs> fun. <laughs> So you just talk about just strictly green bell peppers? Uh, For the sake of being fair, yeah. And then onions would just be just one kind of onion. Just probably just regular white onions. Regular white onions. Okay. So I miss onions. I can't eat them. I kill onion by default. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. But I do love them. God, man. They're great. God, I love onions. I just can't. Mm -hmm. I can't eat them, so I'm going to, by default, get rid of them. Then it gets kind of dicey for me because, like, I like bell peppers, but I only, only in small doses because I feel like the bell pepper, when it's in something, for whatever reason, that's the only thing I can taste. If it's on a hmm. pizza, it could be a loaded up everything pizza. The only thing I will taste is the bell pepper. Yeah, the green and, pepper, and also the. Uh, like what probably makes it worse is I feel like whenever we get like a Supreme pizza or something, they're like veggies, veggies, veggies. Cause these are fucking cheap compared to me. Right. <laughs> and so it's all like, it's lopsided. Yeah. yeah. And I, I don't like to have that be the thing that basically flavors my entire meal. Sure. That just, I might be my taste buds or whatever. And I, I'm kind of on the fence as to whether or not I like the flavor of it. Mm. So, I don't know though because celery is boring. It's just and a tasteless. It's a, it's a water. Device. It's a water. It's a delivery device, which you I do. Saw, you saute that <coughs> as good in in oh, things. Oh sure, as yeah, ingredient. sure, sure. Absolutely. When it's in yeah, like by right, itself, right. a casserole like, or something, yeah, yeah. yeah, like Asian cuisine and, and, and like and then, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I do like the taste of celery because because the sautéing smell of celery and butter is Thanksgiving to me. That's oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, and I I like celery a lot with peanut butter. Me and too. Girl, same. I Holy like, shit. I like that crunch. Oh, especially when the celery's kind of wet. Yeah, exactly. There's something about it's it. It's cold man. and wet, mm-hmm. and then you put that slather that peanut butter on. Yep. And then I like it with, with raisins. No ants on the log. Yeah. No, no fucking ants on my log. <laughs> <laughs> I could go either way. I don't mind. Love raisins. But I like raisins. I like I just... gold, golden raisins especially. Fuck. I yeah. Love I can eat a fucking pail of golden raisins. Yeah. And I'm yeah. just about the regular old. Good too, California Regular ass too. raisins. But uh, Casey had a broccoli slaw today that was mayo, broccoli, cheddar cheese, and raisins. That sounds great. That does sound really Pretty good. Great. I don't generally like slaw, but that doesn't. That sounds like a radical slaw. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it's good with ranch dressing. It's good. Yep. So I'm. I'm. It's a must with wings. I feel like. Yeah. I if agree. I don't have the celery, I feel that, like I'm. It breaks up that hot, chewy thing with a nice crunch a nice refreshing it clears your palate yeah um i'm gonna marry celery okay and, and fuck bell pepper all right dave but you uh man i love onions so fucking much mm. i love onions uh so i'm definitely gonna marry onions no doubt uh it gets trickier for me when it comes down to bell peppers and celery um i love celery for all the things that we just talked mm-hmm. about like if if we if, like if wing stop fucks up or B Dubs fucks up and gives us oops all carrots. I'm fucking pissed. Yeah, because it's like, <laughs> damn it, I don't mind the carrots, but I definitely want the celery. It's mm-hmm. part of the experience. Mm-hmm. I don't even have to dip it in ranch. You know, it's just it's nice to have celery there. It's, it's like, a palate cleanser. Exactly, like like you were saying. I mean, it's 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 to me, it's necessary. When they ask, do you want carrots and celery? I'm like, what am I, some fucking heathen? Of course, I want carrots right. and celery. Mm-hmm. Yeah, come on. Uh, but despite all of that, um, man, I love bell peppers more than I love celery. So I'm going to fuck bell peppers. Like, um, I don't know. There's something about the flavor that I really like. Um, and it's always to me, like I'm on the opposite end cause I love it on pizza. And it's always like, whenever I get a bite with bell pepper or on it, uh, a pizza slice it's like it's i don't know it's like a nice little break from the rest of the pizza i totally get it when they it sucks when they when they overdo when it. they overdo mm-hmm. it because then it's just like there's got to be some balance right. if it's in moderation like I'm the good. force yeah, yeah exactly uh so by default i mean i will i guess kill celery even though i love it very much yeah 
No, with the I love I love all of it, but uh, onions. No, olives are not on this list. I don't. <sighs> <laughs> no, man. man I'm, no. I'm trying. I do. I follow a TikTok where a guy's like, I hate olives, but I want That's them to change. Thing. So every he's like every every week I'm trying a new different kind of olive. What a world we so, fucking live in, man. I was like, well, I, I should probably do that to train myself to like olives because there's a whole <laughs> world of. Olive flavor out there yeah, that I'm okay. just missing out on. See, and I've trained myself to like foods I didn't like before. I could do it again. Just give me regular old green pitted olives. Not black? No, I hate black yeah. olives. Interesting. But I love green. I could eat green olives till I'm sick, and it wouldn't take much because, you know, they're very pu- pungent. They're yeah. very... It'd be easy to get sick on olives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love them both, man. And it definitely stems from me putting them on my fingers as a small child. Sure. Because uh, that made them fun <laughs> to eat. And then I guess that's what built up my love for them, you know? Because it's mm. like you do that enough, and it's like, okay, I like these now. Tanya buys those big green... Try, have you tried that, Tyler? Sorry to interrupt. I'll but have you tried putting them on your fingers? Mm, I need to. I'll try that. You gotta get the I tried putting ones. crawfish heads on my fingers. That didn't work on the girls, though. No. <laughs> they still wouldn't dry crawfish. <laughs> they, Tanya Jokes. buys, Tanya Jokes. buys <laughs> big... <laughs> The big green olives and takes the pit out and stuffs them with blue cheese. Oh, yeah, see, that I, that okay. I, that's, that's really probably good. how I would ease into it because I do yeah. love blue cheese. That's like a an acceptable amount of blue cheese for me. The amount that you could fit inside because it's of, so oh, powerful. It's, yeah, but, but yeah, yeah, that's two super powerful flavors together. So you don't. But they one they one balance one. out well. Mm-hmm. So yeah, definitely go that route if you can. Dave Thomas's cordon bleu sandwich. That was the thing. Okay. And I remember trying it and being like, this is the first time I've had blue cheese. And man, <laughs> I was led astray by Dave Thomas on his cute bicycle <laughs> in that commercial. Because <laughs> this is um, a really weird tasting chicken yeah. sandwich. Yeah. So with onions, well, like if I go to McDonald's and get a cheeseburger real quick, I always ask for extra pickles and extra onions. I do love diced I love this white onions, onions, man. Love it. And then, I mean, I, not red onions so much. I mean, I like red onions, but they're so. They're more overwhelming to me than just like a diced white onion or just sliced real thin on a burger. Really? Because I, like I can actually tolerate a red onion. I can huh. eat a red onion because they tend to be more mild. Yeah. They're, le- they're uh, easier see, to for digest. For me, I feel like it's stronger, really? a stronger taste. I can't tell a difference. And the number of times I've asked Nikki where it's like, what's the difference between these onions? Like, yeah. you know, I know <laughs> like there's a bunch of colors and she's like, she'll tell me. And I'm like, oh, okay. I can't, I don't know, I don't know the difference. I cannot tell the difference between the onions. Well, then like a Vidalia onion is only grown here in the U.S. in a certain region in Atlanta. It's the only place you can get them. It's a Vidalia onion? Vidalia onion. And they're sweeter than any other variety. Yeah, they're like the mildest of the onion family. But it's something about the soil composition in this one area in Georgia. That's it's just what all Big grown. Vidalia wants you to think. Yep. Well, you're probably it's right. Like, it's like champagne. <laughs> and you diamonds. Can, you can make it anywhere you fucking want to. <laughs> then I love uh, any variety of onions sliced thin and caramelized in bacon fat. Oh, like I'll, I'll, I'll do that at onions. home every now and then. Just buy a bag, a bag and a pack of bacon, and just make a ton of that that I'll just put on everything for a week. Man, that's a good idea. Uh, and then I do, I love bell peppers on... And fajitas on sandwiches, uh-huh. stuffed uh, stuff. Yeah, I love stuffed peppers. I hated yeah. them as a kid, but as an now adult, I like them. Yeah. I like them. And then I like I love celery too. Um, I don't like it. It has to be cooked. I don't care for it raw. Um, but it's it's more of a nostalgia thing for me. But I would have to marry onions, fuck bell peppers, and kill celery like you. Okay. All right. Good. All right. I got some calls. Guys, want to take some calls in the community corner? Take a call. A call. All right. We started late today, so uh, I had a work webinar. Uh, thank you guys for uh, starting late. No worries. You know, it's it's kind of rough when we have well, to I took do to, it. I have to work Saturday, so I'm off tomorrow. So nice, nice. I am so jealous. Except for having except to work for having Saturday. to work Saturday, Saturday. right? That's when all the good cartoons not, come on. Not an eight hour day, so <laughs> that's good. All right, first call. This is from 562. Okay, guys. So you're talking about pineapple on pizza. And I have to say it's disgusting. That's just me. So there we go. Um, when I was a kid, we I went to summer day camp every summer with my brother. And um, Please don't take a dark turn. <laughs> Please don't take a dark turn. 
they had pizza day on Tuesdays and you pay two bucks and or a one dollar a per slice of pizza or whatever. And we got, you know, pizzas and somebody for whatever reason decided because they usually just always get pepperoni pizza sure. or Crowd cheese pleaser. pizza and you uh-huh. pick between the two. But Good for standards. whatever yeah. reason, somebody decided to add pineapples to the mix. Fuck yeah. I didn't tell any of the kids. They weren't eating it and we're like, why is this pepperoni pizza <laughs> so wrong? What is wrong with it? No, it's better. It's secretly poisoned and that's what's mm. going on. And then uh-uh. somebody said, oh, there's pineapple on it. And the rest of us were like, why? Eww. That's fucking amazing. It is good. You mongrel. Abby, on the other hand, loves pineapple on pizza, so she's with y'all. Um, I forget which one of you is it, Ian or John, who doesn't like uh, cilantro. You, there's a thing where half the population tastes like soap. Of the world, uh, yep, tastes soap instead on of cilantro. Cilantro. It's a, it's a chimeric thing. The way the chemical sits in your mouth on your taste buds, that it might. It's like some people can smell. Dill and some people can't, but the other people who smell dill can't smell uh, the other thing that I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, so that might be why he, he doesn't like cilantro, is it might taste like soap <laughs> to him. So I love cilantro, but it doesn't taste like Me soap. Me too. But my best yeah. friend, she doesn't. I'm trying to figure out who she's referencing doesn't like cilantro. Me or John. It's you or John? And I think it's me because I don't like you it. You don't like but it. But maybe, I, I don't know that I think it tastes like soap. Okay. Maybe it does, and that's why I don't maybe like it. that's why it. you don't like it. But it, it is very powerful, overpowering to me, and I maybe that's what it is. Maybe yeah, I'm, I bet that's what it, it is. It might be. Maybe that's Ramon old is the same Ramon. way. Ramon, yeah, yeah okay. same way. It breaks his heart because he's got a lot of Mexican cuisine, and that's right. his jam, and sure. he, it tastes like soap to yeah. him. Yeah, I maybe love that's it. what it is. I, I, cilantro is great. I didn't know that about cilantro, and I don't like pineapple on pizza. But we've already discussed that ad nauseum. <laughs> so pineapple. So let's fucking dig it up again. The horse ain't dead yet. Um, I don't like it by itself on pizza, but when it's paired with like a cured meat, like fucking pair it with something spicy and fatty, and I think it's good. Yeah, to me, it has the same effect as bell pepper. I can't it's taste anything but the pineapple, and I don't. I want to taste all that meat. But all I can taste yeah, is baby. the pineapple. And I love pineapple by itself. Sure. I could just eat it like crazy. I don't care. It's not, it, it's just for some reason it just doesn't taste good on pizza to me. But I'm, Tyler, I'm with you, man. Fucking pepperoni. Like it's a fucking pizza trinity for me. You're talking about the, tr- the trinities. Fucking pineapple, pepperoni, jalapeno peppers. Yep. Like holy shit. That's so fucking good, man. I love it. And I think I've made the comment before that if it's the only pizza available and it's free, right. any pizza, I remember you I'll saying eat this, it, right? Yeah. But <laughs> I won't purposely go out of my way to get pineapple on right. pizza. Mm-hmm. I d- I don't like mixing sweet and savory. I like my brothers like that. Those flavors independent of one another, and I could have pineapple a bowl of pineapple chunks to eat uh, alongside the pizza. We do cottage enough, cheese. I don't like cottage cheese, mm. but I don't like eating it. it on the pizza. For some reason, if it's baked in, it just takes away from the rest of the pizza flavor to me. So. Okay. I no judgment. I don't care who if you like it or not. I feel very judged right now. But just personally, joke. just jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Personally, I think you're all monsters. <laughs> no judge. Not a joke. <laughs> uh, let's see. There's a little bit of this call left. Let's see if Terrified Michelle redeems herself. Um, I think that's everything. Um, deviled eggs are amazing. And yes. So yes. Are, uh-huh, uh-huh. Hard-boiled eggs with hot sauce, guys. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everybody. Sriracha. You I'm going to throw a little Tabasco on the next hard-boiled egg. Man. That I, sounds good. I don't like if I, Tabasco. If I don't, have, if I don't have sriracha, I'll use Tabasco. I like That's about the only hot sauce I really like, use. I've been like I put it in my, yeah. I put it in my ravioli, and I, mm, I like to put okay. it on pretty okay. much any th- sauce-based thing. Mm-hmm. But putting it on an egg, a hard-boiled egg, sounds really good. I think I just burned myself out on Tabasco because like, I ate a lot of it in high school. And then I don't know now. I just don't like the taste of it. You know. I get it. Uh, but man, yeah, I, I've <laughs> thought of like hot sauce and scrambled eggs, of course. Mm-hmm. But like, no, I hadn't thought about it on a hard boiled egg. That might actually help me 
get over not wanting I don't like to eat cold hard boiled eggs. Mm-hmm. I think I've said this on the show mm-hmm. before, yeah. probably five thousand times. Um and then I kind of discovered the other day, did I talk about this on the mics? Probably I did. We were talking about breakfast options for Henry because he wakes up so much earlier than us. Mm -hmm. And it was just like, well, there are granola bars. And then I was like, well, let's just hard boil some fucking eggs. Mm -hmm. You put them in the put them in the fridge. And then when you wake up and you're hungry, that's a good that's like a good breakfast. It's also a good snack. Mm -hmm. And they they keep for ever. Right. When they're hard boiled. So um, we did that. And then but the problem is. Uh, because he's seven, he doesn't want to eat them whole. He wants them halved, you know, like uh, deviled egg style. Just, you know, the yolks are still in. So it's like, okay, all of a sudden, this is not as easy a solution as it once was, (laughs) but it's fine, you know? It's it's Mm -hmm. still, eggs are good. Yeah, this is great. So we we chop them up, you know, or have them. Uh, And then, like, one time at lunch, I made him his lunch, and I was like, well, we got some of these eggs. Eggs are good. Let's get a little eggs on there. So I put the eggs on his plate. I give him his, um, I think it was a sandwich. Uh, he eats everything but the eggs. He leaves the two eggs. And uh, I'm a human garbage disposal. I don't want to mm-hmm. throw the eggs away. And they've been out of the fridge. It's like, oh, it'd be weird to put them back in the fridge, probably. Mm-hmm. So uh, I'm just going to eat these eggs. And uh, I discovered that when they're, for whatever reason, when it's not the whole egg and they're cold, it's like, oh, this is actually fine. Mm. I don't know what it is. Okay. I, don't, I don't know what it is about. Maybe it's just too much cold egg in my mouth at once yeah. when they're Well, the, the ratio is still yeah, kind of Yeah, because difficult. like if you bite into the top of the egg, you have a all the white good chance something. of it being yeah. all right. egg white and yeah. no yolk. But then now you've got too much yolk at the end of the egg. Right. <laughs> so yeah, I got, but having it means you can kind of balance it out a little bit more and take better bites. So I'm, I can do it now. Right. I'm just wanted cool. to tell yeah. you guys, I'm very proud. I'm proud of you too. <laughs> proud of you. Now I'm going to put some hot sauce on there. There you go. We can just, use some of this uh, Arizona gunslinger on it. Because during, during weight loss, like, you know, if I'm, which I'm still like counting calories and stuff, but when I'm really, especially if I'm working out heavy, my breakfast would always be four hard eggs. boiled eggs yeah. with sriracha. Yeah. And black coffee that yeah. was every morning for like yeah. a year. I was doing that too for like not a whole year for sure, yeah. a couple months. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I like eggs. But then I got on that whole like, yeah, just fry these. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's not if you're just using like pan spray, it's right? Not that and that's much what worse. that's what yeah. I was doing. But then I was like, ah, eh, cook some bacon with these eggs. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm like, ah, eh, I'll use the bacon grease. <laughs> Yeah, I want to waste, waste it. You know. I mean, I got to get this piece of bread and sop it up. Nah. <laughs> I don't want to pour it down the drain. I should eat this. Yeah. So that's we'll how. Clog the pipes. I better clog... eat it to clog these pipes. <laughs> clog my pipes, but I don't want to pay to unclog my sink. <laughs> so. so that was my egg journey. I hope you enjoyed. Yeah. Yeah. That Very was much. Your egg journey. All right. That was our call. I think that's good. I think Thank you, Terrified Michelle. Wrap it up. Yeah. Uh, thanks yeah. for listening, everybody. You'll find what we're doing. What we say, Nosferatu next Nosferatu. week. Nosferatu. So, uh, you want to send us something like uh, Terrified Michelle and Executive Bruiser Abby did? You can send that to Tadbox Studios, care of Nicole Nance, Foodbox three seven eight five, Duke, Kentucky four two zero zero two. Yeah. You want to call us two seven zero eight eight three two five five five. Yes. You want a shirt? Shirts.tadbog.com. Yeah. Leave us a review. iTunes, Stitcher, it's all out there. Yeah, like seriously. I mean, if you don't mind, that'd be really cool. It would be cool. It would be really cool. Yeah. It'll help. It'll help us a lot if you leave a review. Uh, got nothing new on Patreon, but thanks for everybody for not canceling anything on Patreon. So I, it's a win. It's a win. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's a net positive. No news yeah, is good definitely news. Definitely a win. Our Patreon uh, this week was essentially uh, the AI from Sterling Sharp end to end. Just wasn't just froze. <laughs> just, like, just stopped. Yeah, and that's fine. Good with that. But we do have when when we speak of Patreon, we yeah. always like to give a shout out to our so called executive producers. Yeah, these are the fine folks, the nice people who donate twenty dollars or more a month on Patreon to hear us do this stuff. Yeah, which is really jokes. Remember, super cool. All these, All these jokes, jokes that we make that are just jokes and shouldn't be taken seriously in any context. Lighthearted banter. Just funny stuff. So here we go. I'm going to read this list of executive producers, starting with Temporal Eternal Savior Cubicle Monkey, Usurper Grimm, God Emperor Alex Pena, Cousin David Galino, Plinko Nick Price, Steve Dixon, Cthusius Jeff Miners, Clambro Cody Phillips, 
Bantha Master, Executive Producer Dick Dougie, Game Bug Prime, Nathan Eaton, Time Lord Josh Edwards, <clears throat> excuse me, Matt Gentile, aka Gentle G, congratulations on your marriage, Magical Sleeper, aka Big Dick Pie Baker, Chris Vaughn, Usurper Grimm, Princess Consuela Banana Hammock Flavor Trick, Taryn Landon. Pinball Archmage Chris Edler, sorry you couldn't be on this episode, Platinum Member Brett Miller, Sandwich Pope Phil Hawkins, Nate from Utah, First Time Caller, Drink Smith Joey Webster, Master Cycle Baron Kevin Link, Barbecue Baron Andrew Rowland, General Kenobi Massacre, and Sick Jake, we're sorry you fell for the marketing. Thanks, guys. Yeah, thanks a lot. It means a lot. So our theme it, song. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. No, our theme song is just Sycamore Drive. From just Sycamore Drive. Just Sycamore Drive. The Sycamore Drive. The Sycamore Drive. It's, it's so damn Moves. good. We've never fucking changed it. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> There's a street in Paducah called Sycamore Drive. I know. <laughs> I know. Used to live over there. Every, every time I, there. every time I pass it, I'm yep. like, man, if I were 16, I'd steal that. Yeah, <laughs> jokes, <laughs> jokes. Put, Put a little sign minor. on top of it that says "moves by" <laughs> <laughs> and that's, take a picture. I'm gonna, maybe I'll do that. I like that. I, I live close enough. I could probably pull that off. Okay. How you guys want to close it out? As the sharpest person that we know. <laughs> All right. <laughs> So until next time, uh, Trap- Trap- Tropical, Tropical Capricorn, 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 Cap- bitch. Capricorn. That was Freddy Krueger because he's got uh, nine fingers. Uh, that's, pretty good. that's pretty good. Okay. This mysterious guest host. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> yeah. I was a friend of mine named Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. The sharpest guy I know. All right. Okay. All right, we have actual live microphones now, so just don't say anything good. <laughs> yeah, definitely don't say anything good. Only poor content from here on, <laughs> yeah. please. It's a, it's a mission statement. Yeah, we've got one rule here at Ted Pog, and that is mediocre content. Damn right. <laughs> All right, are Look we looking me. good? Uh, yeah. You need five seconds need five, of silence. I need five seconds of silence. All right, I had to start the five seconds over twice because I was <laughs> moving the table. table. Yeah, because <laughs> it'll take that into account on noise reduction. Well, I got tax money, so I'm gonna go look at a table. I, I man, <laughs> look, I'm good. I don't. I think a round table would still be beneficial. I think it'd be good, but I mean, shit. I gotta have my head on a swivel all day. Mm. While you two Batman across the table, I gotta be fucking. <laughs> well, yeah. Ping pong, but you're the yeah. baby that came on the show. You got to like, <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, sorry, man. <laughs> I'm gonna get us two pl- two uh, glass plates and somewhere where we can just silently some mirrors. I, want, I was gonna say, give me a mi- yeah, couple of a, mirrors, we need some mirrors, <laughs> and then I'll just look right at the mirrors and talk to you. All right, I'll bring my medicine cabinet from home because we want a new one anyway. It'll be a perfect excuse. Nick will be like, "Where is our medicine cabinet?" I'll be like, "I don't know," because we gotta get a new one. I'll put it right there because it's got three. Mirrors that fold out. <laughs> It'll be perfect. Yes. She'll love it. I'm sure she'll appreciate it. We wouldn't actually get one, though. That's the problem. We just wouldn't. <laughs> we just have, <laughs> just a, hole. Have, just have a hole in the wall. <laughs> yeah. It's like our vanity has been, like, slowly falling apart for, like, the last... Since Henry was born, and it's just kind of like... I read an article. It'd be nice to have another one of those, I guess. I read an article the other day about medicine cabinets and how like houses built before 1950 or something like that are very likely to have disposed of razor blades in between the walls oh because you because yeah, yeah, yeah. The medicine cabinets came with a little slot and you would just when you're done with a razor blade you would drop it into the slot and it would just fall down <laughs> Between the walls, and they had pictures of people hey, tearing their hey, bathroom boss, wall out. Should we worry about this? No, nah, man. Yeah, nah. they had pictures of people wow. tearing their bathroom wall out for a yeah. remodel or something. And now I have AIDS. Fucking razor blades. Just well, AIDS wasn't around then, but maybe something. Oh, or was it? Or was it? <laughs> Think about it. Think about it. Canada. But uh, yeah, they tear the wall out, and then a big pile of razor blades just fall out in the floor. So you know.
You might have rage. I don't know how old your house is, but seventies. Oh, okay. Probably not then. Nah, probably not. I mean, maybe there might it's be a pretty weird house. Be some <laughs> dis- con- use condoms back there. We're never like surprised <laughs> yeah. with what we find. Truly, my house was built in 1892. <laughs> yeah, you so have an old. I house. bet I got all kinds. You got all kinds shit. of fucking razor you blades. You probably got opium here. and some of that like morphine cough syrup. Yeah, you exactly. give kids in the laudum. <laughs> laudum, yeah. <laughs> All right, we I'd ready? say no. We probably started a few minutes ago, so I like that. That's a good. Oh, is that a good, good, going. A good starter? A starter or a stinger? I don't know. I got a stinger. A, or I have two stingers. It's fine. Okay. We said oh, lots of funny all things. the stingers. <laughs> so many funny things, guys. I need us to bring it down a little bit. <laughs> we need back something down to for mediocre, please. People yeah. can yeah. expect too much. 